What's up, big PB nation? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode oh, no. of Trash That. I could. I tried to say that with a straight face. I'm sorry. Like budget Felix now. Yeah. What big PB nation? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of the fan base now. Big PB nation. I am. Nation. I am. I am leader of Big PB nation, Joey, and with I, me are my two other leaders of Big PB nation, yeah. Garton Connor. Wow. Is TT on the PP? TT on the. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm so glad to be a part of the big PP nation. The big PP nation. <laughs> All of my That's self-esteem so issues are gone. It's not funny to say. It's like going back to the pee pee poo poo thing, isn't it? <laughs> Stinky. Uh-oh. Yeah, it doesn't matter how old you are. Pee pee poo poo is one of the funniest things I've ever said. You know, like loud. like you know you know how poop jokes were like funny when you were five, and then you hit teenager and they stop being funny, and then as an adult they get like funny again. Yeah, what is that? What, what is up with it? What is it? It's no, it's more. It's more like what is it with like teenage years where you just like no. Pee and poo jokes yeah. are out. I'm I'm more intelligent than that now. I'm, let me I'm let me look at a C.K. Lewis special <laughs> instead for two hours. Learn about the world with some high quality comedy, and then five years later, you're like, Big PP Nation, what's <laughs> up? <laughs> oh Un- my god, uncultured, uncultured. Clearly, I'm kidding. I'm what? I'm the biggest defender of it. I'm the <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, you, you are. are. Yeah, like, if anyone is Big PP Nation, <laughs> it's you. <laughs> how I think I am, like the Winnie the Pooh meme. You yeah. know, <laughs> how I actually am. You know. <laughs> oh my Man. god, so, so what are we talking about today, guys? Oh, I mean, we, we could talk about anything. I thought I would tell a story to begin with. Oh, okay, okay. I was in my Japanese S- class this Story morning. time with Connor. Yeah. Story again. time, it's story. <laughs> <laughs> story <laughs> time with Connor. Right, so I was, I was in my Japanese class, as I do, learn Japanese, not very successfully as always, but yeah. you know, I'm, I turn up, you know, I'm helping. Yeah, yeah you're there. Yeah. You're I'm there. helping, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm helping. <laughs> Uh, and I was uh, in in the break time. We get like a t- five minute break. Mm, don't know right. why. It's only two hours. I don't really feel like you need a break for mm. two hours. And, mm-hmm. You know, whatever. Anyway, so we get a break and we're chilling in like the lounge area. It's like that kind of hip. A that, lounge area. They have like a kind of. It's like this like fake hip college kind of area. It's like yeah, sit where you want, man. Like Ooh. everything's a chair. <laughs> it's like, and so uh, I was just sitting, and then uh, I was talking with my teacher, and then a guy right next to me, like here, is like, hey, uh, do I know you? And I'm like, <laughs> that's always the worst. And I'm like, no. I'm like, oh, I don't know. He's like, you're a YouTuber, right? I, I have my mask on, bear in mind as well. <laughs> right, so, right, 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 right. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I guess that's me. And I just stared at him. I was like, I was so caught off guard. I didn't know what to say. So I just, I was just like, I looked just dead in that, like the Mike Wazowski meme again. Yeah, I love yeah. that meme. I just looked at him like, yeah, I guess, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just stared at him. <laughs> And then I was like, oh no, that was pretty, pretty thinks I'm an asshole now. So if you're watching this, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I just stared at you blankly <laughs> when you recognized. Wait, me. wait, so he came up to you and was like, you're the YouTuber, right? And you said, yeah. And then he just didn't say anything or? He was like, uh, he's like, oh yeah, I think I've seen your stuff. And I was yeah. like, oh, thanks. I, I, I love it when you like get recognized and they, they, they come over and I'm like, hey, you're, you're that guy, right? And then you say, yeah. And then you, you kind of <laughs> see the realization on their face that they didn't plan the conversation <laughs> out at any, at any point after they said that. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just cause like, I didn't expect it. Like, in my Japanese class in like, you know, yeah, in Japan. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, there's a lot of foreigners there admittedly, yeah. but it's only like a lot older people than me. So I just didn't expect it. Yeah, what is up with some people who are just like, oh, he's a YouTuber. He'll, he'll oh, lead the conversation no, yeah. on right I, I afterwards. I, I didn't mind. I felt bad because I felt like I should have been like, "Oh man, how no, are you be- doing?" Or something. <laughs> because, you know? like, because I, I was just like, "Yeah." Because when you get recognized, <laughs> not at an anime convention, right? Because I feel like when you get recognized at an anime yeah, convention, you're, 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 you're like, it. you're like in the zone. You're like, okay, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I'm expecting this. I, I like know how to yeah. handle this. But when it's just out on the streets, IRL, it's like you, not near a convention. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. My daily life. Yeah, just like, in your daily life, you just get blindsided. Yeah, I, yeah. because had, because you get caught during like your off period. Right? Yeah. Because like at a con, you're always on your on period where you're yeah. like, all right, there's people around me, people are looking for yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not, like right. not not to be like egotistical, but at a con, you know, there's gonna be some people like yeah. an anime convention. You know, yeah know you so you're yeah. like ready for it yeah but you know when i'm just at my school or on the gym it's like the last thing that's in my head is that yeah. i'm a youtuber right i'm just thinking like i'm just gonna get my fucking day over with right like <laughs> that I- was like the time where i got recognized by it was the first time i was mm. ever recognized by a, like a straight up japanese person like can't speak oh, a damn. word of English Japanese. Oh, wow. And it was a fucking salary man in like his <laughs> mid forties. And I, when he like tapped me on the shoulder and I turned around, there was just this like mid forties, like like borderline ugly bastard looking fucking- <laughs> Oh, that poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm serious. It was like borderline ugly bastard looking guy. I was just like, oh no, I'm in danger. <laughs> I'm, I'm in danger. Yeah, like, I'm in danger. And then in Japanese he was like, 
Oh, you're a, you're the YouTuber who collabed with Kizuna Ai, right? And immediately- That's how he knows you. Yeah, immediately <laughs> I was like, ah, uh, you're a Kizuna Ai fan. Yeah, of course, of course you are. <laughs> of course you are. You look like a VTuber fan. <laughs> And so I said like- You're defending all the VTubers. Yeah. Yeah. Right well, right call call me God. out like that, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you look like a Japanese VTuber fan. And so I was like, yeah, yeah, I, I did. Cause I think it was like maybe one or two weeks after I did my first collab with Kizuna Ai. Yeah. And that was like a really big thing for me where yeah. I got a lot of Japanese eyes on me. Cause before yeah. that, you know, because I don't really speak in Japanese on my channel, yeah. right? And Japanese people aren't subscribed to my shit. Mm. Yeah. But when I was on Kizuna Ai's channel, cause I spoke Japanese, I got a lot of like Japanese people who, you know, came to my channel obviously. And this salary man was like, oh, I, uh, after I saw your collab with Kizuna Ai, oh, sorry, no, he said Ai-chan. <laughs> so I was like, oh yeah, you're definitely yeah. a fan. <laughs> <laughs> so after I saw your collab with Ai-chan, I, uh, I subscribed to your channel. And I was like, oh, do you, do you understand? Like, can you speak English? Yeah. And he's like, no, but I watch your videos to learn English. <laughs> and I was like, Hmm. It just in the back of my head, I was like going through all my the entire, terrible all stuff, the terrible horrible things. shit. I'm just like, I'm pretty sure I say cunt like every three <laughs> words in my videos. I'm like, I yeah. don't, and, and so jokingly, I was like, oh yeah. I mean, my videos aren't the best to learn English mm -hmm. with. And in a straight face, he's like, no, actually I've learned a lot. On your videos. Like, oh no. Yeah, I was oh, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> but yeah, that was scary, dude. Have you ever been recognized by a Japanese person? Yeah, I've been recognized once by a Japanese person oh, really? in Japan. It was like the most random place. Cause I think, um, I can't remember what date it was, but I think I was like on a date with Sydney, mm. um, somewhere in Japan. And we went to this like random Italian restaurant, right? Okay. It was like a, like a local run Italian restaurant but it was like run by a Japanese person. Mm. And we come in and for some reason, the Japanese person was just like, the, the guy waitering us was just like super, super nice. Right. And we, th we thought he was just like this over enthusiastic Japanese person. Yeah, he was like, yeah, trying, yeah. To speak, yeah, he was just like trying to speak English to us mm. and everything. And we're like, oh man, this is a really nice restaurant. I don't, I, I don't know if they're just nice to everyone here. Yeah. And then we get the bill and he puts on like this massive discount on it. Right. And we're like, um, there, mu there must be a mistake. We got like the wrong bill or something. Yeah. So we go, we go up to the, so we, we go up to the guy trying to speak like our broken Japanese, just to say like, <laughs> this is this is wrong. This is the wrong price. Yeah. And he goes like, um, he also like communicates in like broken English and Japanese being like, oh no, like, I just wanted to say thank you for like everything you've done. You, you're like I watch your videos to help again learn English. Learn English. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm oh. like, man, why are our videos being used as a resource to learn English? There right? are so many good videos out there where you can actually learn English. Why don't use Anituba videos to learn English? Yeah. That's never a good idea. Although I don't know, like I feel like whenever I, if I ever get to meet a VTuber and I'm like, man, thank you for helping me learn Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering if they're gonna like have the same kind of reaction like, on the other side. Yeah, yikes. Jesus, who's this guy? What a, I'm gonna that, talk shit about like him the, on the podcast. That, that's like the, uh, that's like the, uh, that, uh, cashier at the family mart near our house who's like a fan of my videos. And oh, every now yeah. and then, oh, yeah. like if when I go to the family mart near my house, uh, late at night and he's working there late at night, he's yeah. sometimes just like, yo, come here. And he like leads me to the cash register and he's like, see all this chicken in here? We're gonna yeah, throw it out. You, they give you <laughs> Do you free. just want some? And he just gives me the free fucking family mart chicken. I'm like, mm, yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> this is probably gonna kill me, but it's all right. I'll, I'll take some free chicken. Yeah. Shout out to you, by the way. Whatever yeah. your name is. I, I don't I know actually, what your name is. I actually got recognized last week as well. In in the last week. Right. Um, it's it's God, a bit. Calm, of, calm, calm, calm down, man. It's yeah, a wow. bit. Of, it's a bit of an awkward story though. And Go what's on. the what's awkward about it is the guy mentions that he watches Trash Taste every week. So I'm, really, yeah. So I'm about to tell the story. And hello, guy, who's probably watching He's this. He's probably shitting his pants right now. <laughs> It's like, that's me. Because, okay, because it was a bit of an awkward experience. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Not, like, <laughs> and the thing is, I'm probably gonna see this guy again in the future because, <laughs> okay. So where I met this guy yeah. was uh, at an anime bar in Akihabara. Mm -hmm. So I went to this anime bar in Akihabara and it was a really, really cool bar, but it was like kind of small, right? right? Um, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, I think uh, I think Maylin was the one who told me about it. But I remember that, I, I went in there mm. and immediately um, one guy recognizes me. And yeah. I didn't see that, Mei Lin saw that. Japanese guy or Western guy? Uh, we thought he was Japanese, but right. he was like Californian. California, okay, yeah. And like, you, like, you know you know when you get recognized and it's just like that look. Oh yeah, it's just yeah, like yeah, that yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like the triple take, right? It's yeah, like, yeah. Man, I, so, I've not that, I've won that aggressive. Yeah. Jesus, it's fine. <laughs> no, but like you know, the, uh, like when you're at an anime convention, yeah, you just yeah. like the, and yeah. like they they they're like they like they're like debating about whether they should they should say hello for like mm. the next like five minutes. Yeah, like, yeah, I see yeah, just, yeah. just come, there. just come. Yeah. And like, come, if that ever come. happens, if that ever happens, just please, just come, come, <laughs> come, <laughs> now, come now. I'm so sorry that we always reference that. It's just, you can't stop fucking laughing at that shit. Anyway, yeah. Anyway. So yeah, so we're sitting at the bar and uh, the waiter comes up to us and goes, yeah, um, do you mind if that guy says hello to you? Apparently he knows you from some way. And I'm mm. like, yeah, The sure. waiter did this. Yeah, the waiter did this. Oh, wow, so, like fucking romance thing? Like, did he? <laughs> No, so um, so I, I think he asked the waiter, and so he comes says hello, and we have like a nice friendly chat. You know, mm. it, it was it was a friendly chat. He seemed like a friendly guy, right? But you know, it, it wasn't anything more than that. It was just like, oh, you know, I what are you doing here? Do you work here? Do you live here? Just the casual, yeah, just banter, just right? the casual yeah, yeah, small yeah, yeah. talk. You know, didn't seem like that weird or anything. Right. Um, but <laughs> but uh, so we we you know we go back to our tables and we just, you know, carry on the night. And that mm. was like my last interaction with him. Right. Right. And so as we're leaving, um, the bars clo the bars closed early because of, you know, Corona and everything. Yeah, yeah. And you know, ev everywhere closes early in Tokyo mm. now. So we're going out and we go down the lift and just as, um, just as he's about to get in the lift, the lift is kind of like full. Mm. So it's just like our group and we go down the lift and we have no idea where, where we're about to go, right? Right. Uh, because we're like, oh, is anywhere even open right now? Yeah. Um, and one person says that there's like a karaoke place right next to right next to the bar right. that is like anime themed. And that's, oh. that sounds fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. we go to this karaoke themed, um, oh, sorry, these, at this anime themed karaoke mm. and we get the Ava room. And it's such a fucking, it's such an awesome room. I gotta tell you- Oh, we gotta go you, there. I gotta tell you guys there sometime. Hell yeah. Yeah, so we're chilling in there for like a good, good like 10 minutes, mm. just like, you know, Pick, uh, choosing our beers, getting some food and, you know, picking our songs. And then one of the waiter comes in and brings in like an extra towel, which if if, you, if you've if ever been to like a Japanese establishment, when you come in, you get like the wet towels. Oh yeah. Everyone yeah, gets yeah. like a wet towel for like how many people there are. Yeah. So we, we start asking, oh, did, did someone order an extra towel or something? What's going on? Yeah. And then the guy just waltzes in <laughs> and goes like, boys, can I join you? And so I look around and I'm like, okay, he was oh, he was talking he was talking to someone else in the group at the time. Mm. Um, so I look at him to be like, did did you invite him? Because I didn't invite him. Sydney didn't invite him. Malin didn't invite him. I don't think so. It must have been you. And I just saw like the look of confusion on his face. And yeah, I just it wasn't me. It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just immediately like, oh, okay, no one invited him. Um, okay. How the fuck did he know that we were in this specific room when we didn't even know that we were in this specific room? <laughs> so, That's so creepy. That, that only just means then that he followed you guys. Yeah, but I don't know how he followed us because as we like, we walked to the karaoke place. Right. And so we didn't know we were going to the karaoke place until after we had gotten out of the bar okay. and he wasn't there behind us. So, Apparently, like he said that he's like, he knows everyone in the place, he's a, he's a regular. Right. And so somehow he found out we were in this specific room and he, you know, I, I, apparently he just thought he was, he could just join us. Right, and right, right. if you're watching this guy, which you probably <laughs> are. As a fan of Trash Taste. <laughs> as a fan of Trash Taste. This is, this is totally a call out because, you know, I, you know, as we're, as I'm probably gonna be gonna in that say, area. You're gonna say it now. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this now as of, as the same as I'm gonna say it probably next time I see you. Bruh, like that was pretty creepy. <laughs> like, like if, if we had interacted more, I would have been like totally fine. You know, if mm. we had like invited you or if you had like, if, if you were like talk to us beforehand, but the fact that you just showed up like, <laughs> Unannounced, and we didn't know how you got. We didn't know how you knew where we were. Like we didn't even know we were gonna be there. So I don't know what you were expecting. Yeah, I, I'd like to think that he was expecting like the moment he come in the room, you all just like 
turn around like, welcome, <laughs> you did it, you did it. You Congratulations, <laughs> join us, you found us, you did. You solved the mystery. <laughs> you can now join us. <laughs> you have unlocked the secret ending, please enjoy. <laughs> Okay. I mean, it's at like conventions there as well, right? People do that all the time. Yeah. Like, I, I remember I was with uh, uh, Emerichu at a con and uh, Emily comes up to me because we were hanging out the whole con because we didn't really know anyone. And uh, there's just two guys with her. Mm. She's like, we, we get in lunch, Connor? I'm like, yeah, who are, the, who are those two? And she was like, oh I, oh, I don't know. I'm like, what are they, what are they, what are they doing? And they're like, they asked if they could join us for lunch. I'm like, do you want them to? And she's like, not really. <laughs> And I, <laughs> and I was like, all right, okay. And then I yeah. like, I was like, hey guys, we already know you. We're gonna get lunch. Sorry. Yeah, um, I feel because yeah. some some people like you, you know like like how'd you don't guys want to be the asshole? Yeah, yeah, like how'd you guys handle that? Because I just straight up tell them, I'm like, hey yeah. man, I don't know who you are. There, I'm gonna. There's get really no nice way of saying that. Yeah. Unfortunately, you just have to. I, I mean, you know, and and I can tell that sometimes when people do that, yeah. they don't mean it in like a creepy. No, no, no. A lot of a lot of them just you know they've met who might be someone they really look up to. Right, right. This is their one chance to socialize with them. Yeah. And they maybe, you know, don't really think about, hey, it might be a little weird if you just kind of like follow someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I, I'd like to feel like I'm pretty, I'm a pretty open guy in terms of like social oh, yeah, situations. Yeah, I'm definitely ha like happy like, to I've, I've like had plenty of situations where, you know, we are at like a social gathering or a party and then, you know, some we join someone else's and karaoke cool room. And you're like, hey man, come on. Yeah, but you know, there, there are like several steps that you have to take before that, before you, they, both right, parties right, are like right, mutually right. comfortable with something right, like that, right. you know, which yeah. is, you know, this, this is, this is equally a, you know, a message to like everyone at conventions and everything like that, because I'm sure we have like a lot of different stories of just like awkward social situations where you don't really know people and they kind of just invite themselves into your group. Yeah. And I feel like it would be the same whether we're famous or like not, you know. No, yeah, it's yeah, just like it's, it's general like social yeah. skills, it's, you know. I think my absolute pet peeve though more than that is because like, you know, at least with, people who try and, you know, get a little too social with us or, yeah. you know, whoever they admire, right? And try and sneak themselves into our friend group or whatever, is that at least you can just straight up be like, okay, um, you know, I'm not cool with this or whatever. Like you can yeah. you can directly do something about it, right? Yeah. What I find worse than that, and this is sometimes at conventions, this is sometimes just out in public, is when they take a photo of you from a distance. Oh yeah. That's and then they <laughs> tag you either on Twitter or Instagram being like, I saw, Joey at blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, it's just, it's like paparazzi. It's like, it's yeah. so fun. Like I had one, oh, I forgot where it was. It was some con in the US, but we were nowhere near the con. And we were just hanging out at some mall because yeah. we had already finished all our panels and whatever. We were just hanging out with a couple of my friends. And then, you know, it was fine. You know, we didn't really, we ran into like maybe like two or three people, but yeah. whatever, like they came up to us and said hello and whatnot. And then I went back to the hotel and I was just checking through Twitter. And then I saw this photo of me but it looked like I was on the ground floor and you know how some malls, they have like a big yeah, like the open, open top, right, thing? Right, right. Yeah. It looked like someone had taken a photo of Aki and I from like the fifth floor. <laughs> and it was this enhance, real- it was, Yeah, no, no, we didn't even have to enhance because they drew a red circle around us. <laughs> hey man, they, they made the thumbnail yeah, for me. Yeah, they made the thumbnail for me. They were like, they, were like, they drew a red circle around us and being like, yeah. I saw Aki and Joey at so-and-so mall. Yeah. I'm just like, that's fucking terrifying. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like just, if he saw us, then just like, call, like it would have been less embarrassing and less creepy if they had just fucking shouted my name from the fifth floor, right? Yeah, yeah. Then at least I would know that they're there, but they were like, I can't let them see me. <laughs> like why? Why would you do that? It's it's just like, you know, I get it. Yeah, right? Sometimes people are nervous. I know they tweet at me I, sometimes. I get yeah, that yeah. they're nervous, right? Yeah. But there's a, if you, there's a difference between being nervous and being creepy, you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, yeah I mean, like, I, I understand. Like, I try to be as like understandable as I can with, no, like, of course. with like, like people being nervous. I didn't scold them or anything, right? Oh, like, yeah, I didn't yeah. call them out on Twitter or whatever because it's happened more than once. But yeah. every time I see stuff like that, and thankfully it hasn't happened in a long, long, long time. Mm. But whenever, every now and then when stuff like that does pop up on my Instagram or uh, or Twitter or whatever, yeah. I'm just like, Dude, come on! Like, just <laughs> you—you you were literally—you took a photo of me. There was another one when I was back home in Sydney, right? And I was just like walking. I think it was—I think I was walking around with my sister or something. Yeah. And someone had taken a photo of me from behind, but it wasn't from like even that much of a distance. It was literally like, like yeah, I've, yeah, had, distance, yeah, I've had that, yeah, right. Yeah. And I was just like, that's fucking terrifying. <laughs> Because if I had turned around at that moment, right. I don't know what they would have done. Yeah. Would they have just stood there like Mike Wazowski? Like, <laughs> I wasn't taking a photo, I swear. 
<laughs> Bye. Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, people can just talk to me whenever. Like, I might yeah. like look at them blankly for a second yeah. as I realize what's happening. But yeah. I mean, but if you're that close to me, to me to yeah, take yeah, a photo, just come up to me. Just, just like I'm, I want to talk to people. I like yeah. talking to people yeah. as well. As lo as long as you you know just just come on in like a right a, a nice yeah. friendly way. As, yeah, as long as you don't come up to me and like grill the shit out of me. Yeah. Like I don't I don't care. Just come up to me. Like, that, but that's the thing though, right? I think a lot of people don't like to come up to YouTubers or whoever they admire because it's their private time currently. I don't, I don't give a shit. I don't, I don't give a yeah. shit. I'm like eating at a restaurant. Yeah. Like if I'm sitting down, clearly <laughs> eating. Yeah. Don't. You've or, said that number or, of times. Or if I'm in like a private karaoke room, for, <laughs> for, for example, you know, like that's that's at my uh, house. You know, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah if, I'm, if I'm walking around in public, I don't give a shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. Come up to me. Yeah. Exactly. Same here. I, I love yeah. having conversations. So there's a PSA, yeah. right? If there are any trash taste fans and you see any of us out on the streets, wherever, just come up to us. <laughs> yeah. and like, seriously, just come up to us. <laughs> and if the, if it's an awkward situation, we're just probably gonna tell it on the podcast. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, so, no, just don't we, fuck we it up. Don't yeah. fuck it up. If you don't want, if you don't want to be called out on the podcast, <laughs> I'm kidding. There's like a hundred awkward interactions we haven't talked about. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. We could we could dedicate an entire episode to oh, shit like we that. We should someday. I'm just I mean, saying, I, 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 I got to ask you: Have you guys ever? had that the other way around where you've been the nervous wreck meeting someone. I've had that once. I've had like a fanboy moment. Why is Maylene laughing? Why, yeah, why, why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> we know you've been there, Maylene. That's just Maylene's life. That's just you in general. Yeah. I've, I've had that. F I've never understood like the fanboy moment in my life mm -hmm. until maybe, I think it was two or three years ago. I don't remember if I told on the podcast or whatever, mm -hmm. but I was at uh, Otakuthon in, uh, in Montreal, yeah. Canada. And I was a guest there. And one of the other guests was Obata Takeshi, who is mm -hmm. the illustrator for Death Note. Oh, wow. And like, you know, Bakuman and, you know, basically mm -hmm. that yeah. guy. Mm -hmm. And he was a guest. And I knew he was a guest, right? but there were lots of guests at that convention. Yeah. Right? So right, I was right, like, right. I know he's a guest, but I'm, it's such a massive con. Like I'm probably not gonna see him. Yeah. So we went to the opening ceremony because we had to go to the opening ceremony. Of course he wasn't at the opening ceremony. You're too busy yeah. for that. He was too busy <laughs> for that, right? So I'm just like, it's whatever. Like, I'll, you know, I might see a poster of him somewhere, whatever. I'll right. see a poster. Yeah, I'll, I'll, see, him, I'll see him in the no, distance like, doing, you know, signings When you're two guests like, at a convention, that means nothing. No, yeah, no, 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 I, mean, know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. He's like, he's, he doesn't seem like the kind of guy who I'll just like meet yeah. in the green room, right? Like he's, he's gonna have like his own mm, room or whatever. Yeah. He was easily like the biggest guest at yeah, that call. Yeah, right? yeah. So I was like, okay, that cool. I mean, it's cool that I'm in the same building as him or whatever, but mm. it's it's whatever. If I don't see him, totally fine. Yeah. So uh, we finished the opening ceremony and we're walking towards uh, our first panel. And I think Aki was with me and she and she was like, Joey, you should you should you should turn around. I'm like, why? And he's like, because look at the guy who's like directly behind you. And I turned around and it was all Watatakishi just kind of standing there. He was just like, kind of looking at me. Yeah. Like silently <laughs> and immediately. Cause he's, he has such a, cause he's like, he's got like a bald head, right? Like very oh, distinct oh, okay. looking dude. And right. I immediately knew I'm like, holy shit, that's all about Takeshi. And anybody would tell you if you're a guest at a con, with Obata Takeshi, that is like the most optimal moment to be like, you hi, could, you yeah. could be like, Yo, hello, what's up? right? Yeah, it's like exactly. perfect. It was the perfect timing to be like, I'm a guest at this con too. Yeah, I'm a massive yeah. fan of your work, whatever. I couldn't say anything. <laughs> I legit was like, <laughs> I was, and that, and at that moment, I, I was like, "Oh my god, this is the fanboy moment." I, yeah. I, I understand it now. Like, yeah. you really can't say anything. Yeah, you yeah. just, you just get. It, that was the that was the definition of just dumbstruck. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Because I think I was so caught off guard that I, I, I didn't expect him to be literally standing right here looking yeah, at me. Yeah. I don't know why he was looking at me either. <laughs> like silently, he was like, is he half? Like, yeah. Is he half? Yeah. yeah, he was like, yeah. Who? did you speak to him at all? No. Oh, no. Dad, dude, I, he would have loved to speak in you. I know, in yeah. I know, I should have. Yeah. I, I missed that opportunity. I regret it to this day. Because I've, I've had like a similar experience when I first moved to Japan. Right. And it was when Mei Lin took me to a Hiroyuki Sawano concert. Mm. Um, so we go, we go to this Hiroyuki Sawano concert and it's not the type of concert you think it's gonna be, right? When, when I heard Hiroyuki Sawano concert, mm. I'm like, big bass, big drums, yeah, this is yeah, gonna yeah. be in your face. <laughs> no, it was like at this really, really posh jazz bar. Oh. And it wasn't, I wouldn't even call it a concert because everyone had like, everyone had like tables and like posh little cocktails. Mm. And he was just like playing a lot of like acoustic versions of what he was, you know, that's of cool, a lot of the that's songs. Cool, he, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah of, of a lot of songs he composed. So it was, it was like, it was more like, it was more like a private jazz bar kind of deal, mm. but it was still fucking amazing. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so after the concert, uh, Melian like asked me, hey, do you, do you want to meet him? And I was just like, so 
unprepared. <laughs> I, I was like, I, I, I thought I was just going there to see one of my favorite anime composers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wasn't, I wasn't, I didn't know Maiden had like all the fucking contacts that can yeah, get of course me. She just, <laughs> which now, now knowing her now, yeah. of course she does. But yeah. back then, cause this was when I had just moved to Japan. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and so we go, we go uh, to like the green room, room or whatever. And mm. I'm like waiting outside and I'm just like, <sighs> holy fuck. <laughs> Heavy breathing. <laughs> and I'm just like, I, I, have, I, haven't, I haven't emotionally prepared myself. Yeah, like, what yeah. am I gonna do? What am I gonna say? And like the ba- like I was like re- reciting all like the basic fucking Japanese that I know at the time <laughs> to, to like be <laughs> like, <laughs> to like, okay, I just need to say something. I yeah. need to say something. And then, so he comes out and like, is here Yuki Sawano. It's here Yuki Sawano. And then, so he asks, hey, do you want do you want a picture and everything? And I'm yeah. like, yeah, sure, sure, <laughs> I'll have a picture. So, uh, so we take the picture, mm. and then I was like, I, I just wanted to say, I, I want in my mind, I wanted to say, uh, oh, thank you very much for like your work and everything you've done. Yeah, didn't fucking say anything. And so he, like, after the picture, <laughs> I just, I'm just staring at him like this, and he looks up, and he looks at Mei Lin, and then he just like, was that it? Okay, I'm just gonna go back now. <laughs> and then he goes back to the green room and I'm just no. like, oh fuck, I was that guy. Yeah. I was that guy. <laughs> oh no. Oh my God. That's Yo. why, that's the thing though, right? Is like now that I've experienced that moment, yeah. I don't blame anybody who does that to like me or like right. their exactly, favorite person. Exactly, right? I get I it. Completely I completely understand how it feels like now. Like everything you recite in your head just goes out the fucking window. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I've never had that kind Really, of never? No, really? No. I think it, maybe, I I'm trying to think who would, maybe like Iraqi. Would, I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. But like, that's like maybe it. Like, I don't know. I've. I don't know, like, I, I, it's weird. I, I see people who are maybe like big things and stuff that I like, and mm-hmm. I'm just kind of like, oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Maybe I should say hi. Like, yeah. uh, I was at a con and, um, who was it? Uh, Billy West, the guy who voices like Fry. Yeah, 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 Futurama yeah, yeah. and like did like some of the Looney Tunes, like the later ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, like one of the most iconic voice actors, right? And I was like, I mean, I grew up on all that stuff. Yeah. 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 And I was like, hi man, nice to meet you. And we were just like, cause he was in the same green room. So we were just yeah. talking about stuff, mm. but I was never like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, yo, this, this guy's so cool. Yeah. And yeah, I like yeah. remember his voice and stuff. I don't know, it's weird. I, I guess because I don't, in that moment when I see them in person, normally I don't think about their like work. I'm just yeah. like, this is another person in front of me. Right. And I'm going to yeah. talk to them like that. But maybe if it's like someone, again, like Araki, who I'm obsessed with. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, I think it's also for me, at least, it was like language barrier. Because I knew that's that, that, be there, was, there yeah. was so many things I wanted to say to him. And but if I could speak Japanese, I, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, either I look like a nervous wreck or yeah. I look like a nervous wreck speaking both yeah. broken Japanese. I don't know what's better, man. Yeah, because in English, it's like, it's very like, you play like a word game. Yeah. You're like, you don't want to say I'm a fan. Yeah. Because yeah. like, especially with other YouTubers, right? Yeah. Like, and then you want, you don't want to say I'm an admirer because that's just kind of yeah. crazy. I normally say like, my go-to is yeah, like, man, dude, I love your work, man, yeah. it's sick. Yeah, like, I usually say like, I appreciate your work. Like, I think the one guest I got on immediately well with was uh, the first time I met Kevin Penkin, who mm. was like mm. such a fucking lad. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but to be fair, like- He's just an Aussie. Yeah, yeah. Th- that's the thing. It's like, if you didn't know who this guy was, you'd be like, oh, it's just another Aussie bloke. No, he totally yeah. is. There's like this mutual, like, just like understanding that I feel like British people and Australian people have when they yeah. like, meet. It's like, we're yeah. gonna get drunk, right? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're getting drunk. All right, yeah. sick, we're gonna yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whereas in Americans, I feel like there's a lot more like juggling involved. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so are you, you so a drinker? Do, 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 like, do you drink? Do you drink? Like, do, yeah. do, 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 like yeah. how much do you drink? Do you yeah. like party and everything yeah, like because, that? Because like, have you met a ton of Americans that just don't drink? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, makes, and you can never tell. Right. It makes us sound like alcoholics. So I'm like, no, we have to drink. No, but no it's like, we, we are alcoholics. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. In <laughs> a sense, it's, in a sense. It's ingrained in our culture where yeah. if I meet like a fellow Brit or an Aussie, it's We're just- drinking, right? Like, it's it's <laughs> just like, hey, I'm having like, I'm having some drinks later. It's not even like, it's just an assumption that they will join. We're, we're right? one step away in like Britain and Australia. We're one step away from the point of, if you don't drink, we're going to bully you. Like, it's, <laughs> it's like, it's, it's that ingrained yeah. in our culture. Whereas <laughs> whenever I meet someone American, like an American guest or someone or something, and I want to get to know them better, I'm like, hmm, what's what's the best way to approach yeah. this? Do I ask them out for like lunch or- yeah. I don't do say I, drinks. Like you want to get some drinks? Pub? Yeah. Pub? pub? Not <laughs> pub. Don't say pub. <laughs> this, the drinks the, drinks is, is way more open-ended. Yeah, yeah. The, there isn't that same assumption that you're just going to go out for drinks afterwards. Yeah, and just like yeah, yeah, yeah. And mm. just like bond over a pint or something. Yeah, I feel like if if we hang out in the UK during the day and mm-hmm. you know we're, we're, we haven't really said anything, it's just like we're getting drinks later, right? Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> like if you're ever yeah. a guest on the podcast, probably gonna get drinks after. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we we have every single time. We yeah. did it with Chris. We did it with Carl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Who are like 
Who would you say is the, well, it doesn't have to be one person, but who would you say is the coolest person you've met? Like as as a fan or as, a, as, as an admirer of that person? Like who would you say, who, if someone, if I asked you, who is the coolest person you've met? I mean, in the anime industry, it'd probably be Hiroyuki Sawano for me, because mm. uh, I've been I've been a big fan of his work for like. You're since- not gonna say Kevin Pink. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, nah, Kevin's nah, just Kevin, crying. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin knows he's a boy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, shut the fuck up. Kevin's like, Kevin's- you're. I'm not your favorite anyway. composer. <laughs> <laughs> no, because like it's it's great, right? Because I remember the first time we met Kevin, and we got like pissed together, and he starts talking about how like his like how he composed for like Made in the Abyss and his process for everything like that. Mm. And he talks, starts talking about this really like technical composition like talk. And I'm like, man, this is really fucking interesting. Yeah. Um, this is like, like a lot of people would love to hear this. This is like a really interesting conversation, but we were like pretty hammered at that point, right? <laughs> and so I remember making a mental note being like, man, I gotta, I gotta hear this again sober because this is like some really interesting <laughs> stuff. In like, your head, you were like, like wow, yeah. this is really interesting. But what came out was shut up, Pink. <laughs> shut up, Kevin. <laughs> So like the, the day afterwards, um, the day afterwards uh, at Crunchyroll Expo, I'm like, Matt, like, so what are you saying about composing like that, that scene with Meaty and like all that stuff? Like, yeah. can, can you just repeat what you said? Cause that was like super interesting. Kevin just goes, nah, man, I have no idea what the fuck I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking pissed, mate. Oh my God, I fucking love him. I love him so <laughs> much. <laughs> He, he was so, oh man. Uh, Cause I remember the first time I met him IRL was when we all went yeah, uh, yeah, drinking in Tokyo. Yeah. And you know, the, the moment I saw him at that, you know, at the pub, I was like, oh shit, that's Kevin Penkin. Yeah. But then the moment he opened his mouth up, <laughs> he was just like, he went from Kevin Penkin to, oh look, an Aussie. Yeah. <laughs> like the moment I knew that it, we, it was gonna be like fine, we were all gonna get on was like, I sat down and he's like, right, I'm gonna get around then. And yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. Fantastic. Okay, and if you know what a round is in the UK and Australia, we have this thing where I think it's a way to like trap you into having at least like seven drinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Basically it's a system where, and this probably sounds like hell to like, like socially- Someone who doesn't drink, yeah. yeah. It's basically like, if there's like four or five of you, someone buys the round, which means that they buy all the drinks for everyone. And then you kind of rotate who does it. But obviously you can't just then have one. You have to go through the whole cycle. Yeah, Yeah. because you don't want to be that guy who doesn't pay Pay for for their round. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to- Everyone know you're the stingy one. (laughs) You don't want to be in debt. With anyone, yeah. so you're you're getting at least as many rounds as there are people on the table, yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah. And that's that's just like how that's just how the drinking culture it's works. Such a, it's such a horrible social trap because <laughs> when you think about it, like in terms of the amount of money you spend, it's literally net zero, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. If you make it through the entire round, but for some reason you're just you're you're locked into yeah. this until the round is completely over. <laughs> it's horrible. I feel like whenever I've try to get Americans to do this. They're like, no, that sounds stupid. Why would yeah. we do that? Yeah. I'm like, no, no, just do it. Just do it. It's yeah. a social just thing. Try. Just try. It's, it's, it's like logically, it's like, yeah, why it's would I not- get everyone drunk. Yeah, yeah. but it's, it's just it's just a way to get everyone drunk and everyone social. Cause like you're all in this together, right? <laughs> <You know? laughs> the moment you sit down, you are in the cult. <laughs> you cannot leave. Yeah. <laughs> Oh so like Kevin, we're just fucking, I t- okay, I'm, I'm, I'm- This is just a 10 minute this Kevin is, this Penkin is, this appreciation. Is gonna, this, this is a 10 minute Kevin rant. <laughs> like if you hang out with Kevin, he has this thing called Oolong High or Oolong God. Die. And Oolong High <laughs> is just like the worst fucking drink with that gives you the worst hangovers. Cause it's like whiskey and Oolong, right? Yeah, Or, so, or something like that. Oolong and like or sh- is it Soshu and it, Oolong? Yeah, it's, yeah, some, it's Shoju, yeah, Shoju, Some yeah. fucking disgusting yeah. shit. Um, and like he he orders this every time, and I did not know that you could order like oolong high by the jug in karaoke what? places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he found a way to order it by the jug in karaoke <laughs> places. He's like, you want you want an oolong high, right? I'll, I'll try it, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Two jugs come in. I'm like, Kevin, <laughs> <laughs> this isn't. Uh, what kind of sample size is this? <laughs> like, what the fuck? God damn. That and is then, the, that is the most Australian fucking like phrase. Oh, you want to just oolong try high or oolong die? <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah, and then there's this one other time when I went to fucking Yakinuki with Kevin yeah. and it was like, all, it was like all you can eat as well, yeah. right? So so Kevin took all you can eat as he takes the menu and he orders two of everything off the menu oh my <laughs> because God. he was just that hungry. So much disgusting stuff as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and just like the food kept turning up and it was like, and he didn't tell everyone that he was ordering this much food. Right. So we would finish this and we were like, it was like that scene, that scene in seven where the guy 
overfeeds like the first like sloth guy <laughs> <laughs> and like to, 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 to like kill him. That's what it yeah, felt yeah, like. Yeah, right? I see the reference going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> like, cause you were just eating food and yeah. you were like, your, your stomach was already like expanded beyond like, <laughs> it, it, it like felt like my stomach was fucking Jupiter or something. Right, you know? that, right, that's right, how right. expanded it was. Yeah. And then as soon as we finish another round of fucking Yaki Nuku comes, <laughs> I look at Connor, we're like, why, why did we sign ourselves up uh, for this? Yeah, we made him like tell the, the kitchen, like, please like, stop, like stop, like <laughs> stop the order. We take it back, like fuck, go back. <laughs> like, oh my God. Yeah. Awful. yeah. Oh, well, man. we can't wait to have Kevin on the show. Yeah. Uh, if yeah. you couldn't already tell. <laughs> Man. What was the original question again? The original <laughs> question was, who is the coolest person you've met? <laughs> and then it went to a 10 minute oh. Kevin Pink and appreciation I, post. I, I feel like when you meet like uh, celebrities or whatever in the right environment, like mm. it normally results in like really positive. Like yeah. if you're in the green room with someone that normally, well, obviously not everyone is, can get in the green room sadly. Right. Yeah. Uh, but you know, if, if they're in a place where they're like comfortable mm -hmm. and talk to them, I find like most people you speak to are really fucking cool. Yeah, that's like, true. Most, most. I mean, there's, most, I've, most. Met, I've met plenty of guests who have been like, yikes. Yeah, uh, yeah. At conventions. Yeah. Uh, won't go into that. Yeah, uh, well, we <laughs> should leave them unnamed. Uh, yeah. I don't want to get called out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because that one time I punched that kid, I really don't want that getting out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> one time I punched that guest. No, I mean, yeah. you've seen, you, dude, this, some of the stuff I've seen guests do, you're like, holy shit, they're confident doing that in front of like eight other guests. Yeah, Jesus okay. Christ. <laughs> yeah, I've seen I've seen guests that have made like, cause at cons you get like handlers. Mm, I've seen yeah. them like make their handlers cry over like nothing. Yeah, just, yeah. We're all just sitting there in the room like, <laughs> okay. Because like, yeah. I'm just sitting there being like, I don't even know what to do with my hand. Yeah. Like, yeah. This is, I don't even know where my handle is. Right? Yeah, I, I tell them, I'm like, listen, I, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. Good. Maybe I'll need a coffee at some point over this weekend. <laughs> like I, I feel bad asking you to do that. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Um, I feel like one guest who, and this is probably gonna be like, so like, of course, Connor. Like I, um, so when I was doing like, obviously Sebastian stuff for so I long, knew right? yeah, yeah. Yeah. But okay, no, cause like, I felt like I learned so much, right? So uh, I was copying J. Michael Tatum's Sebastian impression for so fucking long, mm. right? And uh, I was so worried when I met him. Cause I was like, I'm literally like made my career at that point yeah, yeah, yeah. of just copying it, <laughs> yeah. right? Which could have gone either way. You, can, right. you thought it could have been like the Spider-Man meme, like. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been like, I fucking hate what you're doing. Why are you copying me? Stop yeah. doing that. Or it could yeah. have been like, who are you? Or it could have been like, oh, nice. I yeah. guess I, I didn't expect, I don't know what I expected. And mm. uh, when I met him, he was super fucking nice. He was like, oh, you're that fucking guy. Like yeah. jokingly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, phew. Okay, yeah. it's cool about it. And yeah, he invited me for drinks and stuff and we met. And uh, yeah, one thing I learned from him is that like, he is amazing at handling like get, like uh, the, the fans that come to him. Oh really? Right. And just getting to like sit next to him and watch him like talk to them. And like, he just immediately like changed his like atmosphere based on who he saw and who was mm. coming near him. Yeah, yeah. It like, he just read people like immediately. Mm. And so start trying to like copy doing that. And like, it was like rough at the start, but I feel like I've learned so much from him and just, how to compose yourself, how to just be nice to people. <laughs> so I'm not, so, I'm such an ass yeah. like, So not only did you copy his voice, but you copied the way that you had yeah, yeah, yeah. They, Like, and that, he was so willing to like, like help me out and mm. teach me things. And uh, he also like- It was uh, like training you up like a prodigy. Yeah, yeah. He, like there was a con that I, I like wasn't going to go to and he personally like vouched on my behalf and oh, saying wow. this guy's good. Like, he was like, you need to get him. And like mm -hmm. really nice guy, him and his husband, Brandon are both some of the nicest voice actors. I mean, actors yeah, I, I, was, yeah. I was just about to say like the way that Brandon and I kind of met online <laughs> was, was a little like- <laughs> Are you shitting on voice actors? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 not really. <laughs> It was like, uh, <laughs> so to give context, like I've never met Brandon IRL yeah, yet, yeah. but we follow each other on Twitter and we've talked like- He's one of the off. nicest dudes I've Such ever met. Such a nice guy. Really Such right, a, right, like, and I can guy. immediately tell incredibly intelligent. He's like getting well. TikTok famous as well. Yeah, yeah, I saw, <laughs> I saw. But um, I did this video, uh, I think it was sometime this year. It was early this year where I asked my fans on Twitter to send me videos of them speaking in Japanese <laughs> or asking questions about yeah, Japanese. Yeah. And then I respond or like answer their question or whatever. And one of the videos was Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> and he was speaking in the most perfect Japanese I've ever heard. Like yeah. his Japanese is actually perfect. Yeah, yeah. And uh, in the video, he, uh, he said, he basically asked like, so uh, I've seen videos of you in the past kind of, 
shitting on dubs. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he's a. Uh, so Michael and his husband are, are both. Uh, they're both Brandon, dub voice actors. Yeah. Dub voice yeah, they're both dub voice actors. And uh, Brandon used to be a professional translator. Yeah, he was. Uh, so hence why his Japanese yeah, is so yeah. good. Yeah. But in the video, he, in full Japanese, uh, you know, very very professional Japanese. He's like, so um, you've kind of been uh talking ill heartedly about uh, dubs <laughs> and dub voice actors. Um, so as a translator. Uh, I want to know like, what is the best, like what is a solution to that? And immediately in the video, you can see immediately I was just like, I'm so sorry. He had, <laughs> he, he had like that, sh Brandon had that like shit eating grin of like, I've, I've completely won here. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I have taken the W, now you <laughs> must hand it to me. I remember me. when I saw that on Twitter, I was like, good Joey, you, you have to admit that dubs are good now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so basically in the video, I was just like, listen, like it's not the voice actors usually, it's the voice directors. You know, I did that whole spiel. Yeah. And luckily he was really, really cool about it. And you know, because he, he, he said it in such a nice fashion as well to me. Mm -hmm. He, you know, I, I couldn't help but just being like, okay, you know what? I'll give you that one. <laughs> yeah. You drop this king. Like, I'll, I'll give it to you. All right. Yeah. But, um, man, yeah, he's, dude, like, I'd love to meet him, IRL. And, oh, yeah. They're, and, they're both super nice guys. And I mean, the reason why I, I speak, speak so highly of them is just because they've just been so nice to me and so welcoming. Honestly, yeah. every dub voice actor I've interacted with either yeah. IRL or not IRL has been really, really nice to me considering yeah, the fact man. that I had supposedly shit talked to a lot of dumb voice actors. I yeah, haven't been shit talking to voice actors, okay? Just the just the product. Just, just the dumb You're voice. just trying to deflect the blame. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I like you, deflect, boy. Deflect, deflect. I like you guys. <laughs> oh, it's the director's fault, meet the director. It was the production yeah, team's fault. Yeah, it was the production fault. team's fault. I meet the it was the audio software's <laughs> fault. It was Adobe. It was no one's fault. You just had a crunch yeah. time. You yeah, know? yeah, that was, that yeah. Was I was deaf in one ear. Clearly. I, I remember I was still bitter for like two years that you said like the, the watching back and no subbed is better than dubbed. I was like, what? Well, you're chatting out of your ass. I mean, I still stand you're by that you're point. You're chatting but... out of your ass, man. Oh, God, Look, I'll it. say that it's better, but I'm not fucking... saying that Go... the dub is bad. The dub is good. The dub's better than the dub's the sub. Better. It's better. It's just better. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like? Nah. Just, what? No. Nah. It's just it's, like, it's, like it's, it's good, but it's not better. It's like one of the few dubs that are, you know, I, I mean, sorry, one of the few shows are, that are better experienced in dubs yes. just because of the setting yeah. and like. The reason why I, most anime are better in Japanese is because most of the time, like right. the setting matches Japanese, but yeah. in Bakano, it's like. It's in fucking 1930s America. We in, need to in have my these opinion, Americans. there is only one anime where the dub is far superior than the sub, and that's Panty and Stalking. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But I, that's I, obviously because it doesn't even look like an anime. I, I, it looks I, like a cartoon. I think, at least for the notable ones, Panty and Stalking, Bakano, and, and Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop, yeah. yeah. Of yeah. course. Yeah, of course. Like, but Bakano is like, I watch the sub and I'm like, look, this I'm is not... kind of, this is shit. <laughs> no, listen. <laughs> it is shit. It's it is not a, shit. It is a shittier experience compared to the it dub. It is not shit. I'm not, I'm not saying that the Bakano dub is bad. Going from Bakano dub to sub is like when you have like the premium triple ply wipes at home and then you go to the fucking restroom and like public and it's like the sandpaper. It's not your that eye. bad. No, they're, they're all, it's like 1930s Japan and they're all like kawaii, like like some of the characters sound like, <laughs> oh, no, no. And it's like, shut the fuck up. Sound, sound American. <laughs> You're in 1930s America. Sound America, bitch. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, look, look, listen. To me, it's like- We need like, to have you forcibly sit you down and watch the dub. I've like, seen the dub. It. How much have you seen of the dub? I've seen it all. Bullshit. Yes, I no have. No way. No way. Bakano is one of my fucking favorite anime. Of course I've seen the dub. And also because Wait, so you why would shut the fuck up about the dub. So I'm like, all right, fine. I, I'll I listen will not to the be fucking content dub. Until I watch you watching the dub. I wanna <laughs> I wanna sit behind you being like, Fine. Joey, appreciate this I'll part. do. I'll do a reaction Mommy, video. Daddy, please stop fighting. <laughs> I'll, do, I'll do a reaction video to me watching I the just, dub. And then I'm you offended. can do a reaction video to my reaction video. All right, how's that? Do you think any, okay, here's another question. Can we just get on? Can we just <laughs> do you get think, on, please? Do you, okay, can you name any of the characters uh, which, that you think are better in the sub than the dub? Like which ones you think are, or, or like, is there any dub characters in it's it? Not, it's not are? particular characters. It's just overall, because maybe it's because I did watch the sub first. I don't know. Maybe yeah, no, no, if I like, watched the dub first, might be completely different. I don't know. Like Lad Russo is like one of my Way favorite better. dub performances of all so, time. Yeah, it's like it's of all time. No, of anime. course, Lad Russo is fucking incredible. Yeah, and he's he's good in sub, but like I don't know. So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's because I understand the language. It hit different. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm just if you okay. I'm okay. just saying maybe it's because it's, uh, I understand the language and yeah. I understand the small little inflections yeah. that yeah. might go over yeah. a lot of people's heads. 
that I appreciate the sub a lot more than I, most people. I mean, you just, okay. Even just like, give me like two second sample of the voices. When you listen to like the gravel in lad's English voice in back, I know it's like, God damn. Okay, but if, okay, damn. but hold on. From from your logic, right? Yeah. You've only brought up lad. Yeah. Lad, okay, well, I think Isaac and Miriam are also better. I think Isaac and Miriam sound the fucking same in no, both sub and dub. No, it's, it's, it's fucking in Japanese. It's voiced by Cream from Sonic and it sounds like Cream from <laughs> Sonic and it, it doesn't sound right at all. And well, it, okay, and also in the okay, sub- Okay, but hold on a second. If if that voice actor didn't do Cream from Sonic, then no. maybe you'd be like, okay, this is actually no, pretty because, good. Maybe okay, it's all because anyone, okay, you only anyone, hear Cream from fucking no, Sonic the Hedgehog. To anyone that hasn't watched this, you don't need to have watched it, but like again, and also in the in the dub, they cut out a lot of the reaction noises, like huh, huh, or like a bunch of them, which is fucking fantastic because I think it, it doesn't suit back. I know having the huh, huh, and fucking Miriam sounds like fucking cream. The the fucking what's the rabbit? That's it, nutting every two seconds. <laughs> And she says Sugoi every two seconds. It is so grating seeing an American 1930s person going with a Tommy gun going Sugoi. <laughs> it's so weird. I don't mind. I hate it. I don't mind it because it's fucking anime. Oh, I, I, what did you say? One of the episodes, it's just cartoons, bro. Yeah, it's just cartoon. It's just the Japanese cartoon, bro. Chill the fuck out. No, we all know that someone has to get angry and I'll Oh do my it. God, of course. Every time, dude. The, 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 every Man. anime has to have I, that I, one I, I, faction of a toxic city, right? I thought I cared about the Bakuno dub and then I realized, man, maybe I don't care about the Bakuno dub. No, Duff. I really don't. <laughs> I really don't. I just think, you know, scientifically speaking, it's it's better. You it's know? a Chinese cartoon voiced in English. Like Chinese. Just, <laughs> just chill out, dude. Chinese. <laughs> This man, this man's off. <laughs> oh God my damn. God. What were we talking about? I don't even know. Voice we're, acting. Oh yeah, Voice we're talking acting. about, no, no, we were talking about our favorite people that we've met. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about. <laughs> Not that that Why matters. Why do we do this every time? It's okay, tangent, <laughs> tangents are a healthy part of conversation. Not when yeah. it goes over to like, how did it go from fucking, oh it yes, I matter. love J. Michael Tatum to fucking cream from Sonic the Hedgehog. I felt, I felt like I could just, could have just gone for like a toilet break and just let you guys duke it out yeah, for like the last five yeah, minutes. Yeah, you could have. <laughs> I, w- I, I would have come out on I'm top. I'm just passionate, you know. I. I just care about the things that I care, which is not many what's, things. What's the meme on the subreddit again? Where it's like, I love how Connor interjects with an opinion and thinks he's always right. <laughs> <laughs> hey man. Someone, and doesn't let anyone else talk yeah, about it. I, I fucking hate when I listen to a podcast when it's like three people who are like, oh yeah, I, yes, guess, yes. I guess you have a point. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I guess I can understand where you're, I want someone who's like, fuck you, you're wrong. And, and, it, and it turns out, <laughs> that person is completely in the wrong right. later on. They're like, I don't give a shit. It doesn't matter. That's last episode. So what you're saying <laughs> is you're playing the you're you're playing you're the villain. You're playing the antagonist You're again. playing the antagonist okay, again. Okay, listen, right? I, I don't give a fuck. And if I'm in the moment, I'm gonna say what I say with full confidence and I'll go home later that day and I'll be like, I think I was actually wrong actually. Yeah. Fuck. Well, I mean, we've recorded it. <laughs> no, <because> <laughs> big <laughs> regret <laughs> because I've talked to you enough times to know that you do that so many fucking times <laughs> on the podcast as well. So I'm just like, you know what? Sometimes I'll just let him out the candy and just let him realize. Sometimes you do it. Himself. Sometimes you do it on the same day. You're yeah. like, you, we would have a conversation in oh, like yeah, the afternoon. And then as we're having drinks and now you'd be like, I was now totally that wrong. I think yeah. about it, I, I, might've been, <laughs> I might've been talking out of my ass. No, I'll totally realize later on. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I was actually completely in the wrong in that point. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. you know, I'm glad that I said it with confidence at least. I mean, know? look, d- the bottom line is don't take what we say all that seriously, right? Take it with yeah, a grain yeah. of salt. Yeah, this right? is just, this is just three boys just having a fucking laugh. Yeah, we're, yeah I, I, God, so we're we're not like I don't know. We're not like an authority or anything no. like that. No, I see a lot of people who comment being like, I can't believe they misquoted something, or I can't believe they yeah. spread misinformation. And it's like, no, this is just three boys having a conversation that we would have off camera. Right. Yeah. This is exactly how we talk off camera. And I'm yeah. sure you have conversations with your friends all the time where yeah. you yeah. short absolute shit out of your yeah. ass, yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah. So if we say anything that's incorrect. If I'm actually confident about it, don't take that. <laughs> <laughs> like the- In other words, don't ever take us seriously. Yeah, like yeah. Ever. okay. We, if if I am talking about something that I am clearly like knowledgeable about, like if I'm talking about voice acting or something where I know my shit, right? Okay, yeah. fine. You can take me my opinion on it yeah. seriously. But-, but just like take take what we say with a grain of salt. Sometimes oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we don't know what we're talking about. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that no, because no. a lot of people don't know what the fuck they're talking about. And how we learn is how we sometimes we say soup stupid shit. Yeah. And oh, we yeah, find out we're wrong about and it. And luckily you know we I mean? have, you know, you guys to very nicely <laughs> remind us in the comments <laughs> how wrong fuck, we are. <laughs> I, 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 I know that it's not something that we've tailored you know, really sat there and thought, oh, is that the correct thing to say? Yeah. Have we done enough yeah. research? Hold like, on guys, no, let me check Wikipedia just, I, I'm real talking quick. out of my ass. And sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll say shit that is just like completely <laughs> wrong. And that's okay. Yeah. Because and we it's, know, it's, and it's, it's hilarious. hilarious. <laughs> I, yeah, we just want to preface that if we do say something, 
sure you can believe us, but yeah. you should probably, <laughs> you know, yeah. if you really want to like take our word for it, maybe yeah. check on your yeah. own as well. Don't don't like quote us in any yeah, thesis yeah, yeah. or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Because this is not the type. I mean, of half show. the episodes we have alcohol. You know what I mean? Like, it's probably <laughs> that, that, <laughs> that says a lot. <laughs> would you would you trust an opinion of someone in the bar being like, no, no, no the engineering is structurally yeah, sound. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cocktail. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> You know, like <laughs> this is why we have guests on who can actually know have like a knowledgeable yeah, yeah, in, yeah. in situations where we are, where we're not just like talking out of our ass, and we would uh, we would just like <laughs> put making, us in our place. Yeah, put <laughs> us in our place, basically. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. normally when we're talking off camera, we might pull out our phone and be like, "No, Connor, you're actually wrong." Yeah, and then I'll double down and be like, "No, I don't. I don't trust. Yeah, that I don't so care. So I don't, I don't care. care what Wikipedia has to say. <laughs> I think I'm right. Therefore, I am. Facts and opinion. Yeah. I know some facts pe- and logic. I, I know some people hate that. Like, I'll be like, "No, fuck you." Anyway, but I, <laughs> I, I find it fucking hilarious yeah, because I just, I, at the end of the day, as much of it, it it's 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 a it's a dichotomy, right? Because yeah, we this is a show, but at the same time, it's yeah. like to us, it's kind of not a show. It's like we just we just talk, yeah, right. But we are putting on a show. But we talk like this the exact same know. way I, I, off I don't, show. I don't feel like we act any differently off camera. No, 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 on no, camera. no, no, yeah, I'm, I'm, We just yeah. have a microphone in our face. That's yeah. the only difference, right? Like, and cameras I, on us. I yeah. care about my angle. <laughs> okay, no. No, sometimes I purposely lead Connor on with <laughs> with with the shit that he's saying because it's like weirdly heartwarming, you know? It's like, it, it, it's, it's kind of the same feeling as like, me being a dad and mm. my five-year-old, you know, trying to convince me that Santa Claus is real, you know, That's it's just fine. like, all I'm, right, yeah. Oh, oh, oh he just, comes down the I, chimney, I'm, does I'm, he? I'm more than happy to waste my energy in shouting at you. Oh, he comes down the you. chimney? Oh, okay. <laughs> Cookies and milk? Okay, okay. I see, I see. Tell me more, please. Damn, man, <laughs> yeah, but what I, the I, fuck were we talking about? Oh yeah, people we like to meet. Yeah. yeah. What about, what about other stuff? That we <laughs> well, what do you mean? We did well, have we, a topic we did, in we mind. Have, we, did. we did have a topic in mind before we moved on to this. Yeah, we should we? probably break into it because we're getting yeah. close to the hour mark, right? Yeah. So okay. Okay. And we, uh, we discussed beforehand that uh, because we had the lost episode, which is probably going to go down in history as some kind of fabled legend. Yeah. People will be tape. like, "What was that?" It's lost actually a episode? shame because I thought it was genuinely a. Fucking it was a great. great yeah. It was a great episode. So, so I'm sure we mentioned it on another yeah. episode. We recorded an episode, and for some reason, the audio stopped recording ten minutes in. So yeah. Completely unusable, and, and I we refused to use the camera audio. <laughs> yeah, no. it sounds like it shit. sounded like dog shit, and yeah. I'm just like, we, yeah. we, 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 we got it. Yeah. I don't even want to make it this a Patreon yeah. exclusive. Yeah. We, yeah. we now this- have a system in place where the audio is fine, so that not yeah. happen. But we we spoke about fandoms that we are aren't too fond of, <laughs> and I know this is going to be a like oh, everyone's no. like everyone's getting their mind. Which what, what am I a fandom of? <laughs> uh, no, not like that. Not just openly shitting on fandoms. Although there was some of that. I mean, we're gonna, we are gonna. No, yeah, we are going fandom. to. We are going. I like to. how we made. I like how we made the previous segment like perfectly, perfectly Opposite. segue into this segment where we're just gonna yeah. shit on everything. And so, dude, what, listen, what are we gonna listen, talk about listen. after talking about the people we love? Oh yeah, the people we <laughs> fucking hate. Listen, <laughs> I know that fandoms in general are, are not you know represented by the minority the annoyance that is in the forefront. Yes, it, of course. It is. It is the vocal. But, Minority that are probably the, what we are talking about. Yeah. This is just us joshing around and chatting. Yeah. Shit. This is what we see, right? Yeah. This is just what we so see. So, Dragon Ball fans, <laughs> don't get offended, okay? Or no, <laughs> we know. <laughs> Go if on, you well, like Dragon Ball, you are the worst. You are what the- are you doing? Why are you a Dragon Ball? Hup it, hup it. As a monkey brain, I should be a giant fan of Dragon Ball. <laughs> 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 okay, no. Okay, I'll start with Dragon Ball fandom scares me the most out of any no, no, because, fandom. Because why is that? I, I, maybe it's because I understand the JoJo fandom, and I'm, I'm yeah, I'm in the, yeah. I'm in the, you know, behind. Which the is, scenes. which is, we'll, we'll get to the JoJo fandom. Yeah, we'll get, we'll, to, we'll, the JoJo we'll get to that. We'll get to that, right? Because I'm sure everyone's going to be thinking that immediately. Yeah, yeah. But like the the Dragon Ball fandom is like. Like I feel like it's so separate from every other anime fandom. Yeah. yeah. Whereas JoJo fans normally watch a bit of anime. Yeah, okay, they're a bit annoying and whatnot, yeah. whatever. But Dragon Ball fans, I I feel like a ton of them only watch Dragon Ball. Yeah. yeah. Like, what do you mean seasonal anime? Yeah. There's no <laughs> Dragon Ball in that season. Do you mean seasonal fuck. new season of Dragon Ball? Yeah. <laughs> Reruns of Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> like, okay, I, I mean, this is just like, outside looking in. So I'm yeah. sure we're quote, chatting out of our ass yeah, half the time, but like, my God, are they aggressive online about like, and also the YouTube ski- scene scares me so much. The Dragon Ball YouTubers are- <laughs> I just, I'm sorry, I just, I just had a flashback to that thumbnail. <laughs> 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 let, me, 
You have to explain that. You have to explain the thumbnail that you saw. So I was on Twitter. Peak content on YouTube. Oh my God. Peak fucking content I'm pretty sure it's like parody. And if it's not, it's parody. I hope it is. Like if, no matter what, it's parody. Cause I either laugh cause it is parody or I laugh cause it's not parody. Yeah, I follow like Justin Wang on Twitter. And he's the guy who talks about like internet law. And he retweets the most fucking cursed shit. Yeah, And so it was just a thumbnail and it was like, what would happen? It was like, <laughs> what if Vegeta got uh, coronavirus, was tested coronavirus positive? And I was like, this can't be real. Like it was just a uh, thumbnail. Yeah. So I, I searched it yeah. and it was a two part series of <laughs> what if Vegeta got the coronavirus? Yeah. And I was like, what? What, what, was the o- what was the other part? It was it was, it was part two, she part two. I didn't yeah. really watch it, but there was another one where it was like, what if Goku tested HIV positive? <laughs> and I was like, what is Dragon Ball YouTube? What is this? I, I only watched the first five minutes and I was pretty yeah. sure it was parody. I right. couldn't tell, but it was very like dry delivery. Of, right. Yeah. I, I need to watch the rest of it. That'll probably get a nice, I need, nice, I, nice boost in I, I need to watch that video. Yeah, because the thing about the Dragon Ball fandom is that it feels like the Dragon Ball fandom, I mean, you can be obviously a Dragon Ball fan and an anime fan, but yeah. I feel like there are yeah. just as many Dragon Ball fans who are just Dragon Ball fans, right? Yeah. And they like watch nothing else but Dragon Ball. It's kind of like being like, an, an, just like an MCU fan, you know what I mean? Yeah. Calling yourself <laughs> like a comics fan. It's weird because like the Dragon Ball videos, like I'm just going based off like what I've seen on YouTube. This is yeah. pure a- anecdotal stuff. Yeah. Um, those Dragon Ball videos come out as often, if not more often than most anime YouTuber videos and get more views or the same views. Yeah. And so yeah. that must mean, right? That like, the in, uh, like again, this is just me like fucking like aliens. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like surely the fandom is fucking gigantic. It has yeah, to be. Yeah. And like, I don't know, man. Or I, it's or it's like a really small group of super dedicated people who are like, I need to watch yeah. this for the 20th time. And people are so into it, man. This, uh, I, I don't understand the videos that are like, what if Vegeta thought uh, a fucking Luffy? And yeah, I'm like, what yeah. is that? Who gives a shit? I mean, that's 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 <laughs> going from like Dragon Ball fandom to like Shonen, Shonen fandom yeah, yeah, as a yeah, whole, yeah. Um, which also like exists in its like its own little bubble. Yeah, I yeah, feel. yeah. That, but, I don't understand that shit. But it's not just Shonen fandom, right? It's Shonen action fandom. It's, yeah, it's not yeah. like the shonen romance fandom or the shonen harem fandom because there's like lots of different types of shonen, right? It's yeah. specifically shonen battle, like power fantasy battle harem. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that whole fandom, right? Like that's, yeah. that's all. So it's like, it's the Naruto's, it's the Bleach, it's the One Piece. I feel One Piece is kind of separate from yeah, everything one else. Yeah. It's like yeah. One Piece is separate, Dragon Ball is separate, and then Naruto and Bleach are separate. Yeah. And then you have like, just like the general like, oh, and then the Seven Deadly Sins fan base is separate as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This video is sponsored by Mac Weldon. Mac Weldon is better than whatever you're wearing right now. For example, God is wearing Mac Weldon right now. Are the fabrics premium gone? They are the most premium est fabrics. Thank you I so much, God. Ever- I appreciate that. Mac Weldon believes in smart design, premium fabrics, and simple shopping. I have to say, because I ordered the stuff myself, it was pretty simple to use. Mac Weldon will be the most comfortable <laughs> underwear, socks, shirts, undershirts, hoodies, and sweatpants, and more that you will ever wear. They have a line of silver underwear and shirts that are naturally antimicrobial, which means that they eliminate odor. They want you to be comfortable. So if you don't like your first pair of underwear, you can keep it and they will still refund you. No questions asked. You can keep your smelly underwear. Not only does Mack Weldon's underwear, socks and shirts look good, they perform well too. It's good for working out, going to work, going out on dates, just everyday life. I did work out in the the shorts at the gym. Can you confirm? I did go out with this beautiful Mack Weldon beanie and it was very comfortable and wholesome. The folks at Mack Weldon have even created their own own totally free loyalty program called Weldon Blue. Level one gets you free shipping for life. And once you reach level two by spending $200, Mac Weldon will start giving you 20% off every order for the next year. That is a bargain if I've ever heard it. Thank you, Mac Weldon. I personally got the silver underwear. And as you guys know, I embarrass myself all the time on my own channel, showing off my boxes in my cosplay videos. And you bet your ass you'll be seeing them soon. Well, I actually got something a little bit different. I got the beanie, but I also got yeah, Mac dude, Weldon yeah. face mask as well, which is perfect I, for this I time I didn't of age, think to right? get the mask, but I'm kind of jealous. The, these are actually really comfortable on my face as well. So for 20% okay. off your first order, you can go to macweldon.com slash trash taste and use coupon code trash taste for 20% off. I repeated myself there. Did he say 20% Joey? I think he said 20%, right? That is a lot of percent. Damn, that's a steal. <laughs> Thank you to Mac Weldon for sponsoring today's episode. Now back to the video. Before we get into this, I need to fucking- Yeah, let's whip Wait out the long this is- voice. <laughs> this, okay. this conversation requires alcohol. <laughs> You brought up seven deadly sins. I do want to talk about that later. We'll get yeah. into we'll get into seven deadly sins. I'm <laughs> um, just gonna go through all the fucking shonens, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. 
Dragon Ball Twitter is the fucking, like, every time I see, <laughs> yeah. every time I see a shitty take. Starting off strong. Like, I, you just see the dumbest fucking take. It's always from a fucking Dragon Ball avatar yeah. or like someone who like yeah. just tweets about Dragon Ball. Yeah. Cause I, I remember seeing like so many shitty takes. Like I remember seeing this one one tweet that was like talking about like how like Vegeta was like the greatest anti-hero ever written in anime or something like that. And, <laughs> my, my, and like there was like the comment thread was like more hilarious than the take itself. And I think my right. favorite meme was just like Goku going Super Saiyan. And he was just like, uh, the top text was like, don't fuck with Dragon Ball fans. And the bottom text was, we only know one anime. <laughs> <laughs> it's true though. What is it about What is it about Dragon Ball fans that only watch Dragon Ball? Like everything they consume, it's like, it's like, you know, they're a Dragon Ball fan when they're like, oh, but GT wasn't that bad. <laughs> was it? Like, Did you see the tweet that was like, you know, Goku didn't protest. And it's like- <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, it's like, Vegeta didn't protest. They just got it done. And I was like, oh my God, read the room, man. Oh read the God. room. It was so funny. The replies were like, bro, it's anime. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they're fucking delusional, man. Oh my God, why, what is it? Like, like, I've, okay, I've, I've always wanted to know, right? Because I don't personally know anyone who's in that fandom. Yeah. But I've always been interested in meeting someone IRL who's yeah. in that fandom. Yeah. Cause I just have so no, many- No, 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 you, you'll know. Cause they're the fucking loudest ones at yeah, the convention. True, true. They're the ones in the corner playing like fucking-, fucking Charging <laughs> up, <laughs> trying to be super sane. If you ever hear someone go, no, <laughs> you know who they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, I've always just wanted to ask them being like, why? Like why? Why? <laughs> why are you? No, it's like that meme of the the fucking uh, the woman in the car. It's like, why yeah. are you like this? Yeah, why <laughs> do you like this? Like what? Like what? Who conditioned you to be yeah. like? I, there's so much good anime out there. I'm aware. Yes, One Piece. Yeah. I am aware of that show. Naruto, Bleach. I'm aware of all of these. Yeah. But no. Goku is my bae yeah. <laughs> and, he, and I will only follow his story. It's it's so weird, right? Cause it's like, I, I I mean, what I see in the Shonen fandom is like, everything is like a dick measuring contest. <laughs> like you, you gotta, you gotta fucking simp for your fucking characters and you're gonna, you're gonna defend them no matter what. Like it's like, what I, I don't understand. Like I, I, I guarantee compared to like some of these Dragon Ball fans, like dude, I, I don't even think Toriyama is as big of a Dragon Ball fan <laughs> as fucking Dragon Ball fans, because, you know? Well, like Dragon Ball, like at least Toriyama was like, yeah. I mean, I got Dragon Ball, but like I got Dragon Quest as well, you know? Like I got all these other things. Yeah. Meanwhile, Dragon Ball fans are like, Toriyama, God, I love you. Do more Dragon Ball, please. Too, too fair, that's, that's like me with Jojo. I mean, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sure, do more, true. do more of that. Yeah, but at least Araki's I, only done Jojo. True, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. not shouting about it all the time. Yeah, of I'm course. just like secretly thinking. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? all the time, not all the time. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? So when, so when we'll Connor- that. We'll, okay, get okay. That. We'll, we'll get into we'll that. Okay, we'll, we'll get into that. We'll get into Jojo that. and we'll talk about that. <laughs> I, got some, I got some shit to say, but no, like sticking with like the Dragon Ball and Shonen fandom, it's, it, to me, it feels like the fucking ghetto, right? Because- <laughs> <laughs> because like the ghetto of the anime. The ghetto of the anime. Yeah, because like, they're like, it feels like like they're constantly having gang wars with each other. And you're just sitting here watching this like you're take like place the, you're on like Twitter. The suburban white couple. <laughs> in the, you know, no, no, you're no. Like no the I suburban don't. white couple going yeah. into the ghetto. And they're just like, you I don't, don't belong here, do you? <laughs> I'm just watching the. I'm just watching this like feud go on on Twitter, being like, Luffy would beat. Liv would beat fucking <laughs> Goku in a fight or something like this shit. <laughs> and meanwhile, One Piece fans are like. Cool, I guess. Like, I don't, I don't fucking care. Like, why? Why? Why do you care? Why does why why does the no. Dragon Ball fan base want yeah. to give Goku like this amazing KD ratio I, 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 of like just, other anime? I just, <laughs> I just had this amazing flashback. You remember the time when One Punch Man came out? Yeah. Like for some fucking reason, there was so many videos of like who will win, Goku or, or Saitama. Saitama? Yeah, oh yeah. And no. like, if you dare say an opinion, it's like get ready to get fucking destroyed by either fan. <laughs> <laughs> no. like, well, what was even worse than that was, uh, did you, do you remember when like Death Battle did Goku versus Superman? Oh my and God. And that got so toxic that they had to redo it to give <laughs> the same result. <laughs> Imagine being like caring that much about some fictional fan fight. Like this is literally like four writers in a room who are like, I think Goku would win. And people are like, I can't believe it. I can't make sense of this. My day is ruined. Do they even watch the show? You would know if you saw the size of Goku's nipples that there is no way he would lose in a fight. It's not possible. It's like, it's insane. It's actually insane. Like, and I, 
I, I, I don't understand because I've never cared that much about something in my life. Yeah. Right. Right. Like, right. I, I, I have been in like university. I've had my YouTube channel completely demonetized. That's all my income. And I, <laughs> I cared less about that. I, I mean, I cared a lot. I was, you know, I didn't want to go broke. What's, what's one thing though about the Dragon Ball fan base that I, I like, I'm pretty sure I'm quite correct on and just shocks me is yeah. that I guarantee fucking tea that 99% of the like hardcore Dragon Ball fans mm -hmm. probably didn't even watch the first Dragon Ball. They started from Z. That's yeah. a controversial take, Joey. That's I guarantee- That's an assumption, Joey. You it's can... an assumption, but I'm willing to bet on it. Every, every Dragon Ball fan is now gonna come up and be like, uh, excuse yeah, me, I've watched I it. watched it. I watched it. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you I have, think. good on you, but it is-, it is. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say something that is completely no no basis okay. whatsoever. Go on. I think the Dragon Ball fans are one bad day away from being furries. There, I said <laughs> it, okay? There. there, I said it, okay? I think they are. I think they act in the same way that furries do in sometimes, you know, there. I like, mean, I mean, isn't, isn't Goku a monkey? As somebody, yeah. as somebody who was a very angry child, I know exactly where that anger's coming from. I know where it's coming from, you know? it's a. I, they're about to jump into the pit. I, I'm just saying, man. They 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 one bad forum click away, man. That's not a, the, 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 the oh one God. bad YouTube recommendation man, away from like I'm falling saying, down man. in that rabbit I, hole. I, I, we're gonna get fucking destroyed for this episode. <laughs> oh my God. Good thing we're fucking drunk. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what do you mean, gone? I have like four sips. Just take it. No, 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 it's gonna, it's gonna get, it's gonna I, get worse the more, like, the more we drink. I think that my parents didn't love me as much as the fans love Goku. I'll be honest, all right. I, I don't know what that says about my parents. But <laughs> <laughs> no, your, your parents loved you, you fine, I'm yeah. sure. It's, My it's, parents it's, would not defend me on a comment section no, very aggressively. No. I'm just, they, no. They'd be like, this is on you, Connor. I've, like, no, uh, no, I just imagine now, like, what if Goku was an actual person and he just saw all did these you comments? Think what right? if Goku, okay, no. has, has Goku committed war crimes? Yeah. <laughs> Do we know if Goku's coming? Would they defend Goku? I mean, we know what would happen like if he was HIV positive, right? But we don't know. <laughs> But we don't know what would happen. I, I think it's great that, that Goku is advocating for HIV awareness. Yeah. I think that's great, you know? I More power to him, you know? I don't know, I don't know if that's in the agenda. I have that. to start a parody series now where I just go through every Shonen protagonist and just go into Getting hypothetical situations yeah. of if they were HIV positive. What if positive. had uh, <laughs> syphilis? syphilis. <laughs> Would Saitama be able to punch syphilis? Yeah, would he, would he be able to punch the syphilis off his dick? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, okay, I love to clown on Dragon Ball fans because they are like the brick wall of opinions. That, yeah. Like, yeah. It's like, it doesn't matter what you say. It's just like, we can't take you seriously. I mean, it's because most of the time they're arguing a point that can't be like proved anyway. It's okay. all like, it's all like, Situational because yeah, yeah, who yeah. cares about power levels? Because you can't really argue about power levels unless you watch Death Battle, you know, and people still disagree with yeah, that even shit. Then it's yeah, like, even then, there's no put, basis. Even if you put science into it, people are gonna like rep this shit no matter what. You yeah, know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. Exactly. It's like a fucking religion. You know, you, it you, is a religion. Yeah, it's like no, a cult. It's it, a cult. It's it's the cult of Dragon Ball. Yeah. That's what that's exactly what <laughs> Dragon, it feels Dragon like. Ball fans watching this be like shit. <laughs> it's like shit, they're all okay. like I, I it's just a, a level of excitement that I've never felt for or like passion that I've never felt for anything. And I don't know if that means that I'm lacking in something in my life, but then I see how passionate they are and I'm yeah. like, I'm kind of glad that I have hobbies. Yeah. <laughs> other than <laughs> other than Dragon Ball. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I have other things that I can like put my be, time and energy They're gonna be like, go read gay porn, Cotter. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> I, I, just, I don't know. I, I, How I many burns can we get on like one episode? Yeah. Man? <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm, I'm sure all three of us yeah, yeah. love Dragon Ball, yeah, right? Yeah. Like we grew up with that shit. Of course it's fucking epic, mm -hmm, yeah. but we oh, like I, I other things. Oh wait, no, I never grew up on it. Oh, you did it? No, because I, I was always so fucking confused at what was happening. Oh like, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, wait, yeah. How were you confused? What when was, when what I, was confusing when about it? I was a it. kid, I would watch a fight, and then the next episode was them like talking. Yeah, we talked about fight. it in a previous oh, episode. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was completely out of order. So yeah. I was yeah. like, I don't, okay, don't want to watch that's yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah. But so I, I mean, like, but, but I mean, you know, it, it is a very inoffensive show. Right? Yeah, right. Like, because it's, it's hard to hate Dragon Ball. Okay. I feel. Yeah, okay. Yeah, like, I love the charm of Dragon Ball. And I love the mainstream, like, Everyone knows Dragon Ball. Yeah. And dude, when you're listening to a rap song and you hear like a Dragon Ball reference as an anime fan, you're like, yeah. what? Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. You said Krillin? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know who that is, but that's cool. Yeah. Because what I, what I don't understand is like how Dragon Ball is still, I guess, as loved as it is because, you know. It's got such a huge like 
pop and, and like mainstream yeah. referencing Yeah, because like I love Dragon Ball Z, but my God, I could not watch Dragon Ball Z today. No, It, no, it no, has no not way. aged well at all in terms no of like way. the pacing and everything. And I remember like trying to watch like the newest Dragon Balls and I can't even remember the fucking name. What's the new Dragon Ball? Super. Dragon Ball Super, that yeah. was it. And I remember trying to watch like an arc or two and it was just exactly the same. <laughs> as Dragon Ball Z. Okay. It was like slightly was, faster paced. Yeah, it was just cleaner line art, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, my God, like, I don't know how this, how there are still so many passionate fans. Whereas like Naruto fans, they saw Boruto and they're like, fuck that shit, Boruto <laughs> fucking sucks. Yeah, exactly. Whereas Dragon Ball fans are here repping Dragon Ball Super, where I think it's an, Okay, show, you know it, uh, and that, oh, that's- you're gonna get flamed for that one, dude. <laughs> How dare he just say it was okay? It was okay. It was. I mean, I feel like Dragon Ball is a fandom that is just like where well, the creators are just like, I guess just give them the same thing again. Yeah, slightly different. Goku is blue hair now. Is that correct? Am I am I saying things? Yeah, that he, he, he's super, he can go Super Saiyan Black yeah. now as well. Yeah, is that the clip oh, where they so, say sorry, don't shoot? He's he, black. He's the strongest yeah. in the universe now. How can we how can we up that up? Multiverse. Yeah, multiverse. You know? <laughs> yeah. Let's have a tournament arc, but we get the Lord of each universe to fight. And then right. they become, I'm pretty sure that's, uh, if, like, if I'm wrong, I get, I'm sorry. I get it. Like, it, it sounds really fucking cool on paper, yeah, yeah. but it, it's the reason why I think God of High School is kind of meh. It's like, it's yeah. all just like a dick measuring contest, like you yeah, said. Yeah, yeah. And after a certain point, you're like, damn, rent a girlfriend's story is kind of good though. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like you kind of just need something more. Right, right. It needs know. more waifus. What, yeah. no, I don't even waifus, just some substance. And I'm sure the fans will argue it does, but for yeah. me, it, it just does it. And I'm sorry, Dragon Ball fans that I'm openly shitting on you. Yeah. That's what you're into. Like, I get it, dude. I'm into some weird sorry. shit. Too. I, I like Dragon, he's not sorry. Yeah, I, not like, sorry. I like Dragon Ball as a you kid. You can Dra shit on my stuff, Dra it's fine. Dragon Ball was of my fucking childhood, but yeah. growing up, I still hold it close to my heart, but I can't watch that shit. You know, it's it's, 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 I don't have the patience to go through what I did as a kid, you know? But you, but that's what I find interesting, right? Is that like this kind of super, super committed Dragon Ball fan base, mm -hmm. it doesn't exist in Japan. There aren't people today who are like hyper committed to Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Super or anything Dragon Ball yeah. related yeah. now here, then there are people <laughs> like in America and like overseas. I, yeah, you don't see that much. You don't. It. Like yeah. it's it's normally like they'll have a section for like, it. Like there are people like Dragon Ball here, at least in Japan now is just kind of put in the hall of fame of like, this is an anime that- Everyone knows. Everyone knows. Everybody it's knows. It's classic. like Naruto, right? Yeah. It's like Naruto, Bleach, Dragon Ball. They're all finished series. Their TV anime's finished, their manga is finished. Yeah. They're in the hall of fame, right? Yeah. If you like it, cool. You'll hear it in passing. Yeah. But yeah. it isn't like, I have committed my entire <laughs> life to wondering yeah. if, what would happen if Goku was HIV positive? <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> You're I, not gonna get that here. I, I just realized the irony of me getting very defensive about the back of no dub and then me just shitting on it. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, Literally two hey, minutes hey, later. I, I, toxic. I, I can I can get fucking I, hey, if you if you like Dragon hypocrite. Ball. Hypocrite. 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 Hey, if you want to defend it, that's fine. I just think it's funny to like <laughs> joke about shit. <laughs> you can shit on what I like. It's totally fine. I don't give a shit. But like speaking, but like speaking of super addicted fan bases. Like I'm, I used to think that way about the Naruto fan base. Yeah. Right, because I was never in the Naruto fan base. I, I never mm. got into Naruto as much as yeah. you know, other people did. But yeah. as you said, the moment Boruto dropped, <laughs> yeah. the Naruto fans are like, Naruto, me? Naruto <laughs> fan? No, 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 what are you talking about? No, no. I don't know, excuse me, I'm a Naruto fan. Yeah, I don't want to watch yeah, fucking yeah. The, the, Boruto. The yeah, yeah. I don't want a Boruto video, but I watch a 50 minute video on why Naruto's power scaling is the most perfectly balanced yeah. thing in existence. There's, I see a lot of those videos pop in my recommended that yeah. are like, uh, I don't know, it's fucking some character, I don't know, like Madara, is that his name? Yeah. yeah. Character, yeah. it would be like, I remember there was like a 90 minute video my recommended that was like, why his power was the best. And I'm like, this is 90 minutes long? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, this they go insane. through every single scenario of Madara. And that's right? cool. Cause I think, I think it's great that like, I imagine, uh, I mean, like when you, I see a Jojo video that's super in depth, I'm like, yeah, that's fucking sick. But then I'm from the outside looking in, it's like, whoa, that seems so excessive. Yeah. But yeah. Then I guess it's really fucking awesome if you're in the fandom. Yeah, but right? you can say that about any fandom. But right? like, yeah. what, what, like, I don't understand is like how, how the, like, how a lot of the fandom still has like so much momentum. Yeah, that's really even strange. after, even like after the series has ended, because you, you normally think of an anime series after it ends, there's like this cool off period, and yeah, then and it kind of like goes into like memory and everything. Right, but right, right. With a lot of like the bigger shonen titles, even if they've ended, it's weird. 
It's yeah, really I, weird. Like, I'm genuinely like curious how they've been able to ma maintain their momentum. Yeah, I'm jealous. Even I'm like, how do you keep coming up with this content? Yeah. For it? Like, how, like, I can't yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah, the, the, the Naruto I, YouTubers, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's kind of, I, I mean, I admire it, man. Like, yeah. I mean, the fact that you can still keep an audience going. Uh, it's it's honestly Cause, like cause, admirable. Cause yeah. most of the time they just talk about the show. Yeah. yeah. So like, cause and like the audience that just does not lose that passion, no matter yeah, yeah, how crazy. much time has passed, right. no matter how many new series has come out, they, they still like would will consume all yeah, this, it's all this stuff where there's like no new media coming out. Cause the yeah. manga ended like what? Like four or five years ago or something? It was a long time ago. Which, which one are we talking about? Naruto. Naruto. Yeah. It was a while ago. And it's funny because all the vi all the, all of the Naruto videos I've seen are just on like the Naruto segment part. Yeah. Nobody's talking about Boruto. No one's talking about Boruto. No one gives a shit about Boruto. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, I like those kind of videos. I think, okay, going back to Dragon Ball, I just had a, a, a fucking flashback. I yeah. remember this one channel. I don't know what it's called. And I'm sorry if you're watching this. There was a guy <laughs> who made uh, like fights between Dragon Ball characters and his OC. And this, <laughs> and this channel had like tons of videos and right. had like 200K subs, I think. Yeah. And I was like, this is insane. Like people are, people, <laughs> thousands of people are watching a dude's OC fight Dragon Ball characters. And I couldn't- That's so I, like, funny. I, I, okay, I can kind of, I can understand why you might be interested in a death battle between, uh, I mean, I think it's Two cool. known characters. Yeah. Yeah. Two, yeah. I think, I think that's, okay, that's cool. You want to see the outcome? Yeah. You wanna, yeah, yeah, yeah. But when it's someone's OC, <laughs> I, I was like, my mind was blown. I was like, wait, people are into this. This is this is how desperate people are for, for Dragon Ball content. And like, it's so and, funny. And I'll, give, I'll give the Naruto people props. At least yeah. they have like the majority of the content that seems to be doing really well is yeah. the content that is like 50 minute analysis videos, yeah. which yeah, is like, yeah, I'm yeah. sure you love that if you're into it, but yeah. Yeah. I don't, you know. I mean, I, I find it like, what's more entertaining than the content itself for me is watching people react to the content. Oh my God. Oh my God. Because oh my God. it's like, okay. So I remember I did like an attitude rewind and people were like asking me why I put like double four anime <laughs> in like the attitude rewind. Because he's the legend. Because how are you not entertained watching a shirtless dude scream his fucking <laughs> ass off watching Goku versus Super? No, what, what was it? Like it was Naruto versus- Naruto versus uh, Goku, I think. I, I think it was Naruto versus Ichigo, maybe? Uh, something like yeah, that. Something, yeah, something like that. Yeah, it was Naruto like versus Ichigo. And he was just shirtless, <laughs> screaming his ass off. He wasn't and shirtless. He, was, he wasn't shirtless. He was. He didn't have a uh, shirt on, but he had this massive scarf on for some reason <laughs> without a shirt. I'm like, that's an interesting fashion <laughs> statement. How is this not entertaining I, to you? I, I respect that, man. That sounds like great content. Yeah. It was <laughs> fucking hilarious. Because because <laughs> I found out about that video through the Anitune <laughs> Rewind. And I'm like, I have to go watch this video. <laughs> so I found it. <laughs> And I watched the entire thing. I'm like, this was the best entertainment yeah. this entire week. Yeah. Cause it's so hilarious. Just he was screaming at the top of his voice, like a fucking 10 year old girl. <laughs> and so excited by the fact that Naruto won. I'm like, damn, I wish I could get that excited about a fucking death yeah, battle. Same, yeah, right? That's so <laughs> admirable. I wish I could get that excited about anything. I know, right? Man, I, I feel like Naruto fans are just like toned down Dragon Ball fans to some extent. Like they're, yeah, not, they're I, nowhere I, near I, as I, bad. I, I, feel, nowhere... I feel like in terms of like, passion and like the, the cultness of it is what I'm going to call, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It's like Dragon Ball is definitely up there at the top of just passionate, dedicated fans. I think every anime fan base is just I think Dragon down Ball, version of the Dragon Yeah, Ball I think Dragon Ball is by far the most like aggressive and like, oh yeah, this is what we want. But it, it's funny because like Dragon Ball is pretty much as close to a mainstream anime as you can yeah. get, right? Yeah. Yeah. But there's there's a difference between people who know Dragon Ball and people who are anime fans who also grew up with Dragon Ball right. and then just Dragon Ball fans. And then people I don't, I don't who know. are Dragon Ball. Oh, you know, cause they'll be at the gym wearing some Goku shit or something. Oh yeah, like, yeah of course. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, bench press me. Yeah, yeah. the fucking Goku, <laughs> Goku Under Armour fucking club. I the perfect analogy for the Dragon Ball fandom. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, if Tyler One was a fandom. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's just like- Damn it, I love Tyler One though. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so true though. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if Tyler One is a Dragon Ball fan. He I likes know. anime. Yeah. Yeah. Tyler One, come on the podcast please, and talk about anime, podcast. please. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I need the monkey brain here. But it's so but it's so interesting, I find just the, I guess the, the difference between these massive Shonen fan bases, right? Because even yeah. though, like say, because for example, you don't hear about the Bleach fan base anymore. 
Are you yeah, dude, right. on YouTube? You see some of those. Videos, I don't know right? about that one. I don't I know. Don't, I, I I don't see. Dude, this, the Bleach fans are like the the kid in the corner who you're worried might like you know bring something sketchy into school. <laughs> like that, it's like did, did he bring a knife? Like, he's, he's I so want to see some bankais. God damn it! Um, yeah, that's that's the Bleach fans. The ones who sit in the back of the class and they're like, they said they were gonna bring a knife in. You're like, should I be concerned yeah. that he's gonna do it? Like that's the Bleach fans. And don't worry, it's a knife that I haven't no, bankaid yet. Because when Bleach like. I, I mean, I, I I liked Bleach up to like the thing like past the- Eisenach. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't to, know to, much to like about Soul Bleach, Society but I know arc, yeah. the Soul Society arc is yeah. garbage. Yeah. No, 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 no. The Soul Society arc is the best. Is good. Oh, which good. one's the one that's the bad arc? Eisenach, oh, the which Eisenach. after that's the Soul Society I hear about Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, Bleach fans are also very passionate about their show. But yeah. I remember when the new anime got announced and I mean, I, I liked Bleach at the point and then I kind of fell out of love with it. Yeah. Mm. But like when, when the new anime got announced, I was like, I don't know why, I'm pretty fucking hyped, man. <laughs> I'm, uh, same, I'm, I'm, I'm same. hyped for this. Honestly, same. I guess because it could be like that kind of thing of like, all right, well, I was like a teenager when I enjoyed this. Yeah, young right, adult. right, like, right. It's like, ooh, ooh, I might get that back, that excitement. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, when the anime got announced, man, the the all of the Bleach fandom, they they had been like hold up. They suddenly they all rose up together. Yeah. Rise like, up, rise <laughs> up. <laughs> they all came out of the bunk because they're <laughs> like, is it safe to leave? <laughs> Finally, is yes. the fallout over? <laughs> yeah, you got you got like normies and like the in, in, you just have like normal people be, like like taking off their shirts. I'm like, yes, I was a Bleach fan all along. <laughs> yes. I read all of it. I've seen all the anime. Johnny they were like, Bosch. They were like the Peter Parker Superman where those just like, yes, I am a Bleach fan. <laughs> oh my God. But no, like, no. what are the, like, cause I'm thinking, right. So there's the Dragon Ball fan base, which yeah. we've already established, the Naruto yeah. fan base, Bleach fan base. What other one would there be? I mean, obviously I, the JoJo I, fan I, base, I, right? I think another Shonen fandom that is like the little shit brother is the Seven Deadly Sins fandom. Yeah. They're like the little rut. You're like, yeah, dude, no yeah. one gives a shit about you. <laughs> Stop fucking making noise. Dude, it's a shame. Cause like, I actually really enjoyed Seven Deadly Sins. Right, I wasn't yeah. a fan, I didn't give a shit about it. Like, yeah. I thought it was pretty like epic, turn your brain off, monkey brain, don't focus entertainment. Like yeah, it, was, yeah, yeah. it was that perfect like shonen white noise, the way that I thought the other shonens are a bit too boring. Right, it's right, weird um, because Seven Deadly Sins is the one shonen that I really, really tried to get into. Really? Yeah. I mean, like I, I think Seven Deadly Sins has been the show that I've tried to get into the most that I just couldn't. I've given it four chances, four, and I still what, can't- What turned you off to it? Just the fact that there wasn't there wasn't any like in season one at least because I haven't gone past mm. season one there wasn't any doubt that the the Meliodas heroes were win, like yeah, that yeah. like Meliodas or whoever was on like the heroes team would That's win. That's true. That's because, true. Because because in season one the only threat to the main characters are the main characters. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I don't know, like I, I get that everyone is so ridiculously overpowered and that's mm. like kind of the charm of the series. Yeah. But I just couldn't get past that point that I'm just like, man, why am I watching this fight when I know that there's not even like a hint of a threat? Like, yeah. See, yeah. I didn't even get to that point. Uh, like I, I just look at the Seven Deadly Sins fan base and I'm just like, I'm not putting my foot into that minefield. I, man. I watched everything up until uh, <laughs> the new season episode one. And I was like, no. So I'm not gonna lie. And then, and, then, and then after that, when you saw the fucking gif, like when you saw when you saw the fight between Meliodas yeah. and, and uh, Escanor, and I'm just like, oh, if, if it feels bad to be a uh, Seven Deadly Sins. Not gonna lie, now, when I it? saw the clip of oh that on God. Twitter, where people oh were like, God. this has to be fan made. I fucking if, lost it. Yeah, you, I lost, lost it, it, but I was also like, I kind of want to watch it. Now. If you don't know, Seven Deadly Sins, super popular show, and then they handed it off to which studio was it? De no, no. Dean. Dean, it was Studio Dean, Dean, I think it was. They handed yeah. it off to Studio Dean and uh, it ended up looking uh, like this. <laughs> this is one of the stills. I, mean, I, know, I, think, I know you shouldn't judge the stills. I think, I think we've talked about this on like the very first episode of no, the no, podcast. No, 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 we, we didn't. It's from the lost episode. Oh, oh okay. yeah, it's from the lost I don't episode. even remember, yeah. Okay. Um, Cause I thought like, I think I mentioned something about it must suck to be a Seven Deadly Sins fan <laughs> because you just- It you know, does. At, at least, you know, if you're a Dragon Ball fan, you get good animation, right? Like the Seven Deadly Sins anime, we'll just, play like one second of animation, here you go. It looks fucking God awful. You can go yeah. onto YouTube. There's tons of clips of just all, the, the entire it's Meliodas and Escanor like, fight is yeah. fucking hilarious. When, when I first watched that episode of see, like season three, I think it is, uh, I was like, just please say psych. When, <laughs> like, please say psych. Like the whole 20 minutes was like, yeah. please say psych. Yeah. Just, just, yeah. Pull, just be like, now, now it's time for the real animation. Yeah. JK, was, this <laughs> is the animatic. <laughs> I, I, it was like, no, no. <laughs> Cause I, I thought it was good enough, right? Yeah. But yeah. Man, the fans, I didn't realize how like out there they were online. Like they are like 
hardcore. No, I didn't know it. how popular Seven Deadly Sins was. Oh, it's really fucking and, popular. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I didn't know how popular it was until like I, I kind of. It, it was kind of the series that I, I thought was just like gonna like fade into obscurity. But mm. then the more years passed, the more popular it got, and the more yeah. things I heard about it. And I'm yeah. just like, oh, I, I didn't know where these fans were when the series started because mm. maybe I was just fucking blind. Yeah. I didn't know it was this popular when it started. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Like e easily, the the worst part of Seven Deadly Sins. Is the fucking main character? No, yeah, really. I I I've heard that. I've heard him. that the entire time. Because this this whole character's thing is like he he I'm OP and also I uh, I, uh, I uh, touch women. I touch women and that's <laughs> that's charming and it's like Yikes. and it's like I don't know who is this appealing to because I I'm watching this and I'm like I'm over the age of eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I like, I don't understand who this is charming to. Well, like, clearly to people who have never touched women in their life, right? <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm sitting there and I'm literally just like, am I losing my mind or am I the only one who hates this? No, because like, because I remember when I first watched Seven Deadly Sins, I actually made the tweet where like, I, like, I remember watching the first episode and I remember thinking, man, what can we do to give Meliodas like a quirky, like a quirky quirk, like the, yeah. the anime quirk. Let's just uh, make him accidentally touch women's breasts. Make him molester, molester. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> molester. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm like totally against woke culture and everything, but I'm just like, I, it's, it's not enough for me to like turn me off the anime or turn me off like the entire thing. Right. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm just like, couldn't you thought of, couldn't you yeah. couldn't we think of something <laughs> better? It, it, yeah, like, I, yeah, again, like you said, like I am not all for being like, you can't do that. I'm like, yeah. I don't give a shit. But every time it happened on screen, it was yeah. like when yeah. you got a whiff of a really disgusting fart, you're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it's, it's God, it's, really? It's I, like, who's that cat girl in fucking, uh, in Oh, and Fire Force, right? Fire Force, yeah. Who's the cat? The one that keeps fun? getting naked. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's her entire quirk. Like I've never been so turned off by fan service in my entire life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire yeah. Force, man. It's, oh my god. It's like it's, it like, needs to be tasteful. Yeah, like as 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 a full blown degenerate. Yeah. It's Fire Force is the first time I've actually watched. Like I've actually seen full on fan service and been like. Why, did, why does this need to yeah. be here? This get doesn't this need to be here. Get this out of here. Yeah. Seriously, right in front of my salad. <laughs> <laughs> Cause like you, you'd have like this really cool looking fight and like I'm invested in this fight, right? And I love, like Oops, I love fan service. My tips dropped out. Yeah. <laughs> I love my fucking fan service, but just no. don't put it in front of my like fights. Like do, what, do they expect to be like, okay, this fight scene's gonna go on for 10 minutes, but we know the yeah. audience isn't gonna pay attention. All right, it's been five minutes, quick. I just, drop because, a city, drop a city right my, now. My, my problem with it is that you take a break from the fight to look at the fan service, yeah. right? And like, I hate that because that, that disrupts the flow of the fight. Yeah. If the fan service was like separate from the fight, like in something like High School for the Dead, yeah. where, or it's something, something like High School for the Dead, where like know, fan <laughs> service and fights are like, oh, come on, you, you didn't like the fights and fights? No, fight I love, I love the Dead. fights. I mean, there's iconic scenes. Yeah yeah, 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 exactly. Where the fan service is just like a part of the fight. That's fucking yeah, High great. School of the Dead did it right because it's like, we're gonna dedicate an entire episode to just the raunchiest fucking fan service. Yeah. No action whatsoever. So you know what it's gonna be. And then yeah. we're gonna get right into the fight the next episode. So, yeah, but right. if you like take a break from the fight to look at the fan service, it just it's just like that eye rolling moment yeah. where even mm -hmm. if you fucking love fan service and you have no fucking problem with it, it still disrupts the fucking fight. Yeah. So I that's that's why I just couldn't get into like I mean, there's a lot of reasons I couldn't get into Fire Force. Right, right. Um, Which that was is a shame. Well, that was but one it's of a the shame, reasons. right? Because you know, David, David, David Production, production did it. such yeah. a good fucking job on the animation it. and like the art design and the character designs are fucking cool. You know, yeah. massive Soul Eater. You know, yeah, I'm a massive Soul Eater fan. Yeah, as well, it's so. a massive Soul Eater, Soul Eater fan, right? So I'm like, just like, hell yeah, new Soul Eater, basically in 2020, yeah. but with a lot of fire. Yeah, it's and like Fire Force is one of those shows where I've really, really wanted to fucking like, mm. but for some reason I just could not get into it. No, yeah, I'm saying. I got like four episodes in, and I was like, I'm, I'm pretty. Yeah, three or four episodes. Episodes was my limit. I think my problem well. with it was that it felt like a mid 2000s shonen where shonen has like evolved past that. Yeah, yeah. I feel like My Hero Academia and Black Clover <laughs> have taken like what has worked and put their own like twists on yeah, it and like yeah, evolved yeah. onto that. Whereas Fire Force feels like it still belongs 10 years yeah. ago with better animation. Mentioning uh, My Hero Academia, it's got a pretty notorious one. Now I, now I don't know, now I don't know okay. if this is a result of it just being the most mainstream anime right now, probably. Right. Yeah. I imagine a lot of it has to do with that. I think but so. Yeah. There's a lot of like, cause I mean, okay. The thing is with the My Hero Academia fandom, right? Is that- <laughs> Hell yeah. Is that's it, what I feel that's about how I My feel Hero about Academia. Academia. <laughs> is, that, is that I think it's the case of like, 
the same like 10 people who have the shittest takes on Twitter it's, that are like- Okay, it's it's not just My Hero Academia. It's any like popular shonen that becomes, yeah, that becomes very mainstream. Very mainstream. Like, this always happens. Like, like My Hero Academia happened, Demon, Demon Slayer. Slayer. Oh, and now Uzaki what? is like, it's it's always the, the the talk of the town. What, what's that? Like how many fucking times during My Hero's uh, uh, like airing period was there yeah. like tweets people being like, look at it, it's disgusting. It's yeah. not even remotely close to the manga. And then they had, the, <laughs> they had the manga right next to it. And it's like one fucking like yeah. leg. Yeah. I, I, I love retweeting, like quote retweeting people like that. Like I think there was one uh, of, I think it was a, a screenshot from later episode of season two or something. Yeah, and the the caption this this uh, I'm guessing it's like a, we both retweeted this. Yeah, it was yeah, like yeah, a 14 yeah. year old girl probably captioned her being like, <laughs> "I can't believe they would do this to my boy." Yeah, it was something like that, and I literally quote, quote retweeted being like, "Am I blind or is there literally no yeah. fucking <laughs> no, difference?" Because I remember seeing that tweet and I remember thinking, "Wait, what's the problem?" Yeah, like, like yeah. It's, so, is there a problem? Is like, this like parody right now? Yeah. Are you upset that this is colored in? Now? Yeah, and this is this this happened so many times. They would just have the the still of the animation and a still of the manga and there was barely any difference. <laughs> yes, there's gonna be some detail yeah. missing. It's a fucking manga page. But in my opinion, it's like, if you're that upset, yeah. just read the fucking manga. Yeah. <laughs> like, why are you watching the anime? Like, I, I remember like logging onto Twitter whenever Demon Slayer was in its peak yeah. or when my, my Hero Academia was in its peak, I'd be like, surely they can't be a shittier take than yes, they appear in my timeline. <laughs> and sure enough, dun, there dun, was like, a, it was like everyone was, everyone was competing. They were having a tournament arc of shitty takes. <laughs> That's what it was like when they were airing in that peaks, man. <laughs> I, I definitely do think though that the winner of that tournament arc was that fucking person who was like, uh, Tanjiro's earrings <laughs> oh are, my uh, God. Uh, you know, it's it's you know, it's it's very uh, it's very bad. It's got the Japanese imperial flag yeah. on it, and people were just like, no. Nah. That's not what no, it is. That's not what it is. It was like a Hana Fuda. It's a Hana Fuda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like what what are you talking about? And I, I remember I mean, I, like I don't usually I don't usually call people out on Twitter because I don't yeah. want to give those people attention. Yeah. Yeah. But sometimes I'm just like, I don't give a shit if this gets attention. Yeah, this is fucking hilarious. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's like it's a, you get so many people who are like, oh dude, I found it out. I found the way to like call them out and yeah, get, yeah, the yeah. get the woke points on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. And they call it out and everyone's like, dude, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Yeah. No one cares. And it's like, sometimes they're like so, it's so hypocritical so as well. Stretching. Because, because, okay, I, I remember I remember this one time I saw like this tweet about like My Hero, Acad My Hero Academia and the girls and like, you know, don't sexualize the girls because they're in high school and whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you go in their profile and they're talking about shipping Todoroki and his yeah. dad. I'm like, what, what is going on here? Yeah, then, 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 there was one girl who was like, there was like a poster that Hori Koshi had drawn as like a thank you for like season three era. Mm -hmm. And it was all of the UA girls in like swimsuits. Yeah. Right. And some girl had retweeted being like, how dare Hori Koshi sexualize these 14 year olds. And literally the top reply was someone who screenshotted that person's likes list. And it was just Todoroki like Yaoi. Just oh straight up God. like Todoroki Yaoi oh being like, is, is this you? <laughs> Who, who's this man? Yeah, who's, who's this man? man? Who's who's? <laughs> yeah, it's just oh uh, I don't know. What was the other yeah. one? There was like a my hero another controversy because of course there is. They find anything to get mad. That was at. the yeah. Maruta one. Which one's the Maruta one? It was like one of the scientists in season. Oh, like that, in was, that was oh, yeah. China though. That was, yeah. that oh no, was, there was another one which is like uh, Bakugo's birthday is the same birthday as Hitler's. <laughs> you remember that one? <laughs> I don't remember. You that don't remember one. that one? I saw that on Twitter being like, because I logged onto Twitter one morning and I saw my hero academia tweet uh yeah. like uh. You know, trending, yeah. and so I was like, "Oh God, what now?" And yeah. so I went onto it, and it was like some some person was like, "Okay, so the official birthdays of uh, all of the UA yeah, students came out, yeah. and I just found out that Bakugo's birthday is the same as Hitler's. Does that mean Horikoshi supports war criminals?" <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, "You, you know can't what, be serious, you, right?" You know what the worst thing about that doctor one is what? like the the Japanese uh, like war crime. Yeah, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that I looked at it and I was like, "That's my birthday." <laughs> Does C Dog VA yeah, support war like, criminals? I'm like, is my birthday just cancelled now? Because <laughs> somebody who was born on my birthday did a bad thing? Is that it? That's like, ridiculous. And I was like, this is, I'm like, what do I think? Like, what is this? No, this no, is dumb, because, right? because, like, the, because the Bakugo is Hitler's birth, uh, Hitler's birthday tweet was so yeah. funny because all the replies were like, that's my birthday. <laughs> it's like, yeah, there yeah. are 365, maybe 366. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's obviously gonna overlap. Yeah. It's just so. a fucking day of the year. Like, it's not like, <laughs> since when was somebody like, oh, April 25th no, is I, Hitler's birthday. Uh, another one, another dumb thing was like, I think they were like uh, in the anime, I think they made them like slightly thinner compared to the mom. 
manga. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. People lost their fucking shit. They were yeah. like, I can't believe this. I can't believe they're fat shaming yeah. with these characters. I'm like, it's literally two pixels. It's, and I'm just there like with my flaming hot, my flaming hot Cheetos just sitting there like, I don't fucking care. <laughs> I don't fuck. like, it's who gives a shit? I mean, half the time they don't even do that consciously. Yeah, I, I don't like get the whole redrawing art or fixing art trend or whatever oh, that's oh my God. happening Shit on Twitter. Me the it is like off. the most toxic thing. Bro, I stay, dude, our artists arguing on Twitter, it's it's like the most like, they're just throwing the same grenade back and forth. Yeah. I'm like, I'm, like, I'm, I'm it's, not touching it's like, it. It's like two cancer cells fighting, right? It's like, <laughs> oh, oh God. Joey, oh my, oh God. my God. God. Going for the throat, Joey. What the I mean, I've tweeted about I am, this. I, I don't really care. I'm not with Joey in any way, artists. I like your work. It's like two cancer cells fighting. It's like, either way, I'm dying from cancer. You know, it's like, I don't you really care. You can never care. like porn on Twitter ever yeah, again. How dare, how dare no I? More porn for how you, dare Joey. I? All the artists are gonna come All the you artists. Now. No, it's uh, cause I remember there was one girl who, uh, with a, they did it with Persona 5 as yeah. well. It's like, how fucking dare you do it with Persona 5? Cause like there was this new character in Persona 5 Royal that came out called Kasumi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she's supposed to be like a professional gymnast, right? Yeah. And in, if you don't know anything about the Persona games, there's like the regular character design and then there's your like Persona character design. Right. Where, so the character had a gym uniform, right? right. Like mm -hmm. the, the usual like female yeah, yeah. gym uniform. Yeah. And it was based around that. And there was this person who got that and was like, oh, how dare Atlas sexualize this? Like, I think she's like 16 in Dude, the game. Gym outfit. Yeah. And there was like, and so like they colored in like pretty much like the leotard part out to yeah. make it just look like she was wearing a fucking like skin tight like suit. <laughs> it looked like shit. And uh, and they were like, I fixed it, Atlas. This oh is this God. is what the characters should look like. And then what pissed me off even more is when a tweet like that gets popular and then they replied to their own tweet being like, by the way, guys, follow me on DeviantArt. I'm, <laughs> I'm an artist, please hire me. I'm like, look, look, artists out there, don't do that. That's not how you get who, hired. Who, no. are, who are you to say what artwork is correct? Yeah, right? like, yeah. That, to me, that's like, it, like, it's like if we made a video and someone's like, there, I corrected, I dubbed over it and made it funny. Yeah. It's like, okay. So what? Yeah, it's like, yeah, exactly. It's, it's cause what you're doing is you're basically just putting like a giant middle finger at the original artist. Yeah. You know? And you don't, you don't know what the fuck their intention was. They just made a piece of artwork, you know? Especially when it's like, you know, the, the cultural difference between Japan and- uh, the Yeah. Yeah, but like, yeah. I think I think the thing I had, the, the biggest gripe I had with the whole persona thing and a lot of these like, I fixed your art things is that like, there isn't anything inherently wrong with the original art. It's just your it fucking yeah. prerogative that you think it's bad. Like, I mean, Twitter's a shit show. We can is, all- yeah, yeah, of course. Like this this recent controversy with like the Uzaki-chan design oh is just the most stupid fucking thing so I have dumb. seen. Why is it even an argument? Yeah. Why is it even an argument? I just, I look at that shit and I'm like, how do you motherfuckers have the energy? <laughs> I, how do you how do you do how do you wake up every day and decide? You know what I'm gonna do today? You know, argue on Twitter for yeah. two hours. I'm gonna get angry about the, the, I'm, the I'm, design of this fictional okay. character. Who's ever changed their mind because of a fucking tweet? <laughs> like, who in the history of humanity has seen a tweet and been like, you know my opinions? They're fucking wrong. You'd, you'd be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I have changed my mind and I've yeah. made a mistake. You were right all along. I've I had a relapse of judgment. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. But yeah. Uh, yeah, going on to other fandoms. So Jojo fans. So can we talk about Jojo fans? The locusts of the anime community. <laughs> Because that that's what they are, the locusts. The religious plague of the anime community. <laughs> They're the frogs that most right. rain down. I'm a head out. <laughs> no, so, no, I mean, we can't, we can't shit talk. I mean, we can shit talk. No, we, we no, can't shit can talk, shit talk me. You can shit we, talk. But we can shit talk because we are in that fandom. No, no, because right? we, we are in that fandom. We're Jojo fans. I feel like we're varying degrees. We're, we're, yeah, we're of varying degrees. Yeah. Like there, there's like, it's it's like a gradient, right? Yeah. And you, you've gotten better recently. <laughs> But I went to rehab, God, I went to rehab. But you know? my God, when Connor discovered Jojo, he was the most annoying Jojo fan you could ever imagine. Yeah, in the, ch in the church of Jojo, he went from like altar boy to the Pope. Like <laughs> he just yeah. ascended. Like, <laughs> everything like, has to be Jojo. It's so like, when did you like first properly get into Jojo? Cause it, was it when you were like in peak Jojo yeah, because toxicity? I'm, I'm curious because from my point it's of view, happened out of it kind of happened out of nowhere. Mm. Yeah. So I had watched, when I was moving house once I downloaded, uh, cause only at the time, uh, only Stardust Crusaders had finished. Yeah. Right. Before part four started. 
And uh, I downloaded it all and I was like, well, ev- you know, this, this guy talks about it a lot on YouTube and says mm. it's quirky. Yeah. <laughs> so, and and, and I, I fucking hated the art style. I thought it looked right. like shit. I was right. like, why is it so fucking ugly? Yeah. Which is what I hear a lot from Jojo fans and I, I oh. totally understand. It's, it's wait, wait, always- you downloaded it because I mentioned it? Yeah, yeah you, you I've pres- created a monster. <laughs> Oh my he god! He did this. Oh my because god! You're like the scientist who created oh Frankenstein. I feel like <laughs> maybe you had a you had a part to play in the catalyst of like if you didn't you didn't start it, but maybe you definitely accelerated yeah. it. Yeah. 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 So uh, I downloaded it and I was moving house and I had no internet for about yeah. a week. Mm. Um, and it didn't even take me a week; it took like three days. Yeah. So I watched and got oh my fucking god, dude! Stardust Crusaders Part One, the mm. first watch. Fucking boring. Yeah. That shit was so long. Yeah. It really. Well, I was there in a orangutan. There was a boat. <laughs> What is that, Iraqi? I mean, now, now I love it. Yeah, now, now it's I think, hilarious. Yeah. Now yeah. I think it's amazing. Yeah. But at yeah. the time, I'm like, I hate this. I hate this so much. Part yeah. two had a good thing going. Yeah. Why are you ruining it, Iraqi? Yeah. <laughs> Part one, okay, here's what it is, right? And I, 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 I sympathize a lot with JoJo fans who come, no, not JoJo fans, people who want to get into JoJo who are like, yeah. I just can't get into it. Yeah, it's yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it is hard to get into. It is. It is just such a weird thing and it's so different from what you're used to. Dare I say it's an acquired taste. (laughs) I think some parts it is. And and there's almost a lot of people now who really want to like it just to get the memes and be in the know. And it's like, you don't have to, I don't care if you do or don't. Which which is the biggest thing about Jojo fans, I want to say is that please stop trying to get absolutely everyone into Jojo. Not everyone should get no, into JoJo no. because it's not something that it's, appeals to everyone. Yeah, exactly. And, you know? and, and it, it is a commitment as much as I like, yeah. you know, it, I have to basically say to people, if you make it past Stardust Crusaders, you're probably in for the long run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that is nearly what? Like 70 episodes? Yeah, 70 yeah. episodes? Like so it's 48 plus, yeah, it's about 70 episodes. It's, it's like episode. 20 volumes of the manga. So, Asking someone to be like, hey, it gets good 72 episodes into the yeah. point of like no return. It's <laughs> yeah. like, that's a hard sell. Anyway, so I, I, I'll get back to that. So I watched it and then I kind of was like, didn't think anything of it. Like, yeah. And then I watched part four and I was like, this is really good. Mm. Part five hadn't yeah. come out. I was adamant on, uh, I actually tried to read the manga, yeah. but I couldn't I couldn't do it. I was like- Really? Yeah, because at this point I didn't start reading manga. Yeah. I, I yeah, was yeah, yeah. strictly not reading manga. Yeah. So I was like, no, I can't do it. And I read the first chapter of part five and I was like, no. Yeah, what is yeah. this? Why, who's this fucking Jordan O'Connor? <laughs> <laughs> so then I started watching part five as it aired. I got about three episodes in and I was like, I really want to know what happens. Yeah. And so I started reading ahead and then right. it became like, I read part five in like uh, like a day, I think. Jesus. Yeah. And then I read part six the next day. <laughs> <laughs> and then I read part seven over like two, three days. And part seven was like by far my, and part seven is when I think it solidified like my obsession with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Part seven was so fucking amazing. Yeah. And if you have finished all the mar- uh, all the anime yeah. and you're one of the anime only peeps who I, like I was for a long time, please give it a shot. The manga is so, so good. Yeah, part yeah. six and seven's manga is so good. Yeah, then I became like obsessed and I was like, okay, well, I want to go back and read all the manga now because mm. I feel that like it was kind of a really different experience and I got to go through it a lot faster. Yeah. And yeah. a lot of the pacing issues I felt in the anime, at least for part three, yeah. could be resolved yeah. with the manga. So I went back yeah. and I rewatched it and I just became fully obsessed. And I think whilst I was reading part seven, I was meeting up with you a bunch and I slowly became more annoying. Yeah, <laughs> because like the thing I hate about Jojo fans is that they, they, like they assume that nobody watches Jojo, like in the old days, right, you right, know what right. I mean? They're, they are the most vocal fan base out of fucking any other anime fan base. Mm, and they, mm, it's mm, always mm, the yeah. same fucking- We want to talk about a dick measuring contest. <laughs> like Jojo fans, it's like, a dick measuring I had, contest. I actually feel sorry for any musician who Araki chooses to like name as a stand. <laughs> oh dude, you go to their <laughs> comment section yeah, on YouTube? Yeah, and it's like the Jojo fans have taken over. Oh my God. Which is like, I, which is like I call them locusts, right? Cause, <laughs> Cause they like invade, they-, they <laughs> They take all the crops, they take everything, and then they move on to the next one. It's, yeah. like, it's like the Independence Day aliens, right? Where they just like, they just like make this fucking world uninhabitable and then they move on to the move next on world. On the next did, one. Did, did you see when the Star Wars released the new like R2D2 thing? And it was no. called Dio. Oh my God. And all the comments were Kono Dio. <laughs> like all of yeah. them. And so, when Connor was in like peak Jojo fandom, this kind of came out of nowhere because he would just start making Jojo references like in everyday life. And mm. like, I remember in England, we, we still hang out like pretty often. Yeah, like, like once or twice uh, every, uh, well, one a week or every two weeks. Yeah, 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 exactly. And just every time I would hang out with Connor, he would just keep making Jojo references. <laughs> he was like, I, I, I thought Jojo fans were annoying online. <laughs> Hanging out with a Jojo fan in real life as a fan of Jojo <laughs> made me start to hate Jojo. <laughs> 
And I didn't know that was physically possible until I started hanging out with Connor. Like we would be like eating a meal in like some Italian restaurant yeah. and Connor would just be going through this fucking menu being like, oh, prosciutto, that's a Jojo character. <laughs> oh, look, you ordered the black pasta. This is like that scene from part two where- <laughs> And Gee, I would just, Jesus Christ, that's a Jojo. Yeah, yeah, and I would just be sitting there being like, motherfucker, I'm just trying to eat my fucking pasta. Can you not right now? I remember I would just do it on purpose at some point. So I'd be like, oh, you you approached me. That was- <laughs> I remember <laughs> we were like drunk. I, I, I remember I that one party we went to and we got fucking wasted. And every time I just, I, every time someone walks towards you, you, you would be like, oh, you're approaching me. <laughs> you're approaching me, oh. <laughs> And it was like- it I'm was, so it was, glad I wasn't in the it UK It was funny like the first two times, but like the 50th yeah, time the, of the night. The worst part was everyone at the party started doing it then. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Cause I had done it so much that everyone was saying it. Oh my but, like, God. They didn't know what even they were even no, referencing no, most no. of the time. That was just copying. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my I, God. yeah, needless to say the, I get it because the passion for it when you first get into like really into it is mm-hmm. so intense. Yeah. And like you love everything about it. Because everything about that is so quotable. Yeah. Like, you can take anything I, out of context I, and it's yeah. quotable. I think that it's like, the way I try and describe it is like the selling point is that like, it's such a unique experience in anime. Yeah. It is. And, and a manga that you just, you nothing comes close. I know everyone says that, but yeah. it really is. And I think also because being, especially I think the reason it's done so well in the West is that I feel like it's kind of almost accessible because a lot of the Western references make it really easy to digest. Well, it's because Araki as well has said that he's like, his biggest influence was Western comics. Yeah. And it's so cool because it feels like, it's like, oh, anime is like kind of like acknowledging our, our kind of like yeah, thing, yeah, right? Yeah, and like, yeah. you know, I fucking love Earth, Wind and Fire. And when I first saw like the stand Earth, Wind and Fire, I was like, I fucking love that band. <laughs> You know, when you see a band that you listen to, it's yeah. so hype, you know? And, and then when you see it again in part seven, yeah. you're like, hold on a second. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, did Aki do a, mis- a, a mistake? <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's like, I, I think it's so easily digestible in some ways. Mm. And it's such a, no author does anything like this no. in yeah. any other way. No. And the absurdity of it, but also it's so dumb yet clever at the same time. It's yeah. really just in an overall experience and a, and such a good style. Like, yeah. yeah. Well, that's why it's one of the most parodied Shonen Jump titles right. ever by other Shonen Jump because right, like I'm reading Ice Shield 21 at the moment yeah. and they fucking, when they throw the ball, some of them shout aura. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's like, you're just gonna casually every, drop like it. Literally every Shonen Jump artist has probably parodied or referenced Jojo in some way. Yeah. But it's like so unique. So that's why it's infinitely like fucking quotable. Yeah. And like people can reference this all day long and people do reference this yeah. all day long. <laughs> which is, A little which too is, much. Which is, which is what gets annoying at some points because I remember when Jojo first started airing yeah, in like yeah. parts one and two. I remember talking no about it. No one gave a shit. I remember nah. talking about it. And I was like, I, I think it was like in my very first year of view when it's like 2013. Mm. And I was like talking about Jojo being like, yeah, there's this like long forgotten anime that's being like, long forgotten manga that's being adapted called Jojo. You guys, should, you guys should probably watch Shit. Not knowing how big it would become fucking seven years later. Cause mm, now yeah. everyone in the anime community knows Jojo, but I don't think everyone in the anime community should get into Jojo. You know what no, I mean? It's, no. it's, 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 it's hard. Like I, yeah. as much as I love it, I, I, there's so many pitfalls that would put someone off in the mm. first few parts yeah. where yeah. he's really coming into his own mm. yeah. as an author. Like I think part four is really where he starts to be like, okay, from part four onwards, you're getting a fucking amazing experience. Yeah. 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 But there's so many growing pains in between that. Yeah. And yeah, it's- uh, part, and part one and three mostly, I feel like the growing part, pains. And I think that's also one of the, the annoying parts is that people who love part two, then go to part three and they get something totally kind of different. And yeah. it's hard to yeah. be like- It's hard to just, adjust. Just yeah. like kind of put up with it. Like, and I, I, I wonder like if I had internet, you know, I had mm. any form of internet, would I have dropped it? Like I wonder right, about right, that. Right, yeah. like, would I? Because I, the only reason I watched it is I had no other anime downloaded mm, except yeah. for this, and I I remember being like, "Fucking come on, man. yeah, yeah. Oh, gee, this fucking fight's so boring." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like come on. And I don't know. It it just feels like nowadays people will still make JoJo references, and the JoJo fandom still acts like it's it's this really underground kind of show that yeah. everyone mm. should get into, and it's just not that case anymore. No, and no. I, I, I don't, yeah, we are an annoying fandom. Yeah, I don't think they, <laughs> they I don't think they understand that they might be pushing a lot of people away from the show now yeah. just because of how vocal they are. Yeah, I, I like to now at least publicly with my my JoJo references, I like to be sparing and like yeah. save it for a good moment. Yeah, a because good JoJo references. 
at the right time hits right, that's the differently. Thing. It does I hit say. differently. <laughs> but like, that's the thing, right? Is like, I think as well that a lot of people are just getting fucking sick of JoJo's because it is so quotable in any situation. And, yeah. so, and like so many of the JoJo memes now are just like, Dude, come on. Like, <laughs> I'm just like, dude, come on. You can do better. Come on. You can do better than that. Like, please. Like, there, there are a lot of good memes. There are like, a yeah, lot I, of good I, memes. I, 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 think it's, me I think it's like that now because there's no new anime part airing, but yeah. whenever there's a new anime oh, airing- Oh, dude, when part six like becomes an anime, whenever yeah. that may be, the memes are going to be fucking top tier. Yeah. Like, we already know. But in the meantime, there's just this dead moment of just dead memes where it's just kind of- Putting the JoJo fan base in a little bit of a bad light, I feel, because yeah. they're just shitting out these memes everywhere. Yeah. People yeah, are just are. like, they all do, right. They do go a bit ham. I get it. But like for you as a JoJo fan, do you yeah. ever feel defensive whenever someone shits on JoJo or like- Oh, it depends what for. Like if, if they're shitting on it, like just to shit on it, which many people are because mm. yeah. you know, the fandom's super fucking annoying, yeah. right? So, I mean- And it's a popular I mean, show. I mean, I get annoyed by it, right? Because yeah. I read this shit and I'm like, dude, you're 12. Don't talk on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're, you're just- Who gave you permission? Yeah. yeah. You're Profile picture is Meliodas. Please stop. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I, I mean, <laughs> it, it's hard, right? Because it's like watching your little brother like shit his pants in public. It's like, come on, man. Like, don't, come on. Like, <laughs> Not now. Me, you're making me look bad. Yeah. Because like, yeah. there's so many like cool things in JoJo. Like, okay. The JoJo like fashion is like the coolest fucking Dude, shit. Dude, it is fucking next it's level. It's by far, I think the best anime fashion. Like, yeah. I don't think anything comes close. I, I mean, mean, you know, that's how they did a collab with like fucking I mean, Louis Gucci. Aunt, Gucci, right? Gucci, yeah. Yeah, they, they, I am so collab. fucking sad that I ha I don't own anything from the, the Gucci collection. You know, if they do another well, JoJo Gucci Was it Gucci collection. or Louis Vuitton? They did Louis Vuitton as well. I think they did Louis Vuitton as well, well. Vuitton as well right? I'm pretty sure. Oh, the Vigar, 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 yeah, Vigar, they did the, they did the, the figures yeah. with the, the gems in them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we know, we know like, fashion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they, they, they Gucci, Gucci, because they yeah. did a, they, I think, uh, yeah, yeah, Iraqi wrote a, uh, a short, I think it was a 12 page or a three page. Yeah, uh, with like a very uh, Kishibe short, Rohan, right? Right, Kishibe yeah. Rohan Gucci promotion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, And it's fucking amazing. And I wish that I had, like, no anime comes close to like pure, like fashion style yeah. as JoJo. No, it, like, I mean, it really doesn't. Iraqi did a fucking uh, JoJo exhibition at the Louvre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like, no other anime right, artist can right, do right. that. It's not even close. And and the reason why is because anime is such a, I feel like it's been like watered down style, right? Mm. Almost like yeah. the style is so same at this point. And then you have something like Jojo that yes, is very, very grating to look at in the start, mm. but the more you come into it, the more you get into it, you're like, holy shit. Okay. This is really fucking cool. No, cause I feel like after about, I think it's part four or part five where Araki, Gets gay. Yeah. gets gay. He yeah, just no. gets gay. Part like, five is hella gay. Yeah, yeah, part five is hella gay. There's and so I love sexual. it. It's There's so, so good. There's so much gay tension in part five. It's like perfect. Yeah. I've never seen that many open chests in yeah. my life. And you can see part sucking five. scene. And you, and, and, and you can see how much of like- uh, Fashion is rubbed how off. How much on fashion him. is like rubbed off onto his like character designs and mm. just like well, the entire aesthetic like of, of- Most the, of the poses from like part four or five onwards are all like, just Vogue, yeah, just yeah. Vogue, Vogue right? covers or like fashion yeah. shots yeah. that are taken. Yeah. And they're just like amazing in anime form. Like yeah. it's so obvious that he had like an a, an appreciation for fashion that I don't think many authors had. I'm no. sure there's no. some of the comments who's like, um, actually, but you know, <laughs> but it's it, just super mainstream. They just, yeah. we just haven't seen that. Yeah. It's 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 someone who lo obviously loves fashion, but has been able to integrate it in so well. such a unique so well. way. Yeah. Cause you know, there's, there's a difference between having like, I don't, I, I don't know how to put this into words, but like having characters wear good fashion. Like one right, of the things right, I right. love about Rental Girlfriend actually is how like their outfits change. Right, and right, right, right. I was one of the few like, like anime you see where every every episode the character is wearing like a different outfit. Right. right. And you can tell you can tell like like the author has put, put yeah. thought into this. But like what I feel about JoJo fashion is is just, is just that it embodies fashion. You know what I mean? I, yeah. Not just the clothes, but just like the whole the whole feel, the right. whole feel uh, yeah. and everything like it that. It feels like runway models yeah. with personality. Yeah. <laughs> like like Dare I and say? Oh my powers. god, that is like so JoJo. Yeah. It's like from part five onwards, it does feel like everyone is a it's runway, runway model. <laughs> models with superpowers. That's yeah. what it is. Like that's yeah. genuinely like what it feels like. And it and like I never gave a fuck about fashion, but ever since like what getting into JoJo, like when I saw like high fashion stuff, like yeah. expensive shit, I'm like, okay, yeah, that kind of like looks pretty fucking yeah. good. <laughs> like, like it's true okay. though. It's I true. literally never. I always used to think like ten dollars for a t-shirt is the max level. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then the more I got like, I started looking at Jersey, and I'm like, why is that guy hot? Like he looks fucking dumb. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. like it's hot though. Like like. Yeah. And then I was like, dude, his outfit is fucking yeah. cool. Yeah. Like, 
and Dude, that drip all the clean. Fashion. Yeah, <laughs> that drip clean, man. Like, and you're like, okay, maybe I can start to appreciate fashion a little bit. Oh that's, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. My yeah. Last. I, d- I definitely got, came to the same because I mean, uh, you know, there's this brand in Japan called Glam, which does a massive. Oh, so which you want, if you're wondering where we get most of our t- yeah. like anime, anime t-shirts yeah. now, it's probably from Glam. Yeah, all of the JoJo are, shirts that you've seen is probably probably from and, Glam. Yeah. Like I, I scoffed the first time I saw when the t-shirt was like $80. Yeah. And yeah. I, I, that is a lot and that pained me to pay that. But yeah. after a while, I'm like, this shit looks so good that yeah. I would rather have one of this t-shirt than eight shitty t-shirts. Yeah, exactly. Because you know I mean? exactly. like, 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 there's only a few places where I can rep like my favorite anime and not have to worry about- Being a fucking embarrassing. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> being that cringy weave, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cause like there's some anime fashion, which there's no other way I can put it, but just, it's just tacky. It's yeah. so tacky. Yeah. Put yeah. a fucking lo- put a fucking it's, giant it, logo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. like the the kind of shirts you only wear to anime conventions and that's it. You yeah, know? Or, you, it, or, or as pajamas. That's the only <laughs> time, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> exactly. But some like the Jojo fashion I seen just looks fucking fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, exactly. And you can like, you can be a weeb just like in public, you know, and still. No, yeah, that Diavolo jacket I have, a King Crimson jacket yeah, I have yeah, is yeah. like so fucking sexy. Yeah, exactly. I love it's wearing so that cool. jacket. It's so fucking God cool. Damn. Basically there is a lot to love about Jojo. That's the last dick suck I will do of Jojo. <laughs> yes, the fandom is probably one of the worst, if not the worst right now publicly. Like it's pretty fucking awful. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty bad. Wish, like, I wish you guys would chill the fuck out yeah. a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Exactly. Cause we like, <laughs> cause I, I feel like the only time I've had a knee jerk reaction about someone saying an opinion <laughs> about Jojo. <laughs> Dude, I, had the, I had the exact same, I had the exact like, like same I, I thing. Beca- I became everything I hated. <laughs> I mean, I've already talked about this, but it's uh, Critical. It's when Critical did a, what, what did he do a video on again? He was talking about, uh, it was Donkey's video. Uh, about oh, how, yeah, 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 about yeah, yeah. how Final Fantasy fans are the worst and yeah, like they're yeah, like yeah, yeah. so yeah. aggressive about their opinion. Yeah, so it's a critical video that's called Donkey Has Gone Too Far. I think yeah. that's, I think- that's Something, like, Something yeah, like that. Yeah. 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 And so Charlie talks about how, you know, these rabid Final Fantasy fans have taken Donkey's opinion way too seriously, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then he goes in this, he, he uses this analogy. And of course, of course he uses Jojo fans. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was, when, when he brought up Jojo, I was ready to be like, you're right, King. Totally like, right. You are yeah. totally right. Yeah. I totally get you part, this. Part, yeah. part one sucks, yeah. part three sucks. We yeah. get it. Keep yeah, it. yeah. Cool. And then he goes on to say that, I think he prefers part one and two to part three and four. I and I just had I, this, I just had this, the mate. I've never hit the space bar with such aggression. I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> What? Because <laughs> I've, I've heard most opinions about Jojo. I've heard shitty takes. You know, like, yeah. That like, was the shittiest take. Charlie, what was that? What was that like? <laughs> Charlie, part, Charlie, part four is amazing. I just want what? to, no, no, I just, Want to understand? You know, no. Come I've, on I've, the podcast, Charlie. Explain look, 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 yourself. Look, 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 I don't want to be that JoJo <laughs> fan right now, but I'm going to fully morph into that JoJo fan because, like, I've heard. You know, if you don't like JoJo, that's fine. I've yeah. heard that take so many times. When I'm yeah, just like, yeah, yeah. JoJo's not for you. That's good. That's fine. You know, but I've never heard the take where I've someone, never heard that. Never someone heard prefers that. parts one and two over parts three and four. Maybe like maybe part two over part three, but part one. Yeah. Part one over, part over three four? and four. Four, four is amazing. Four I, don't, so I, don't, I don't like the pers- personified powers. I'd rather see the powers I can't fucking see. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie, this, this, you know, I just want, I just want to understand. Please, I want to please, understand, please. I need to know. This there's is, a, this isn't hate. right here, Charlie, for you this to is, explain this yourself. This is not hate. I just want to know. <laughs> I want to know. Because me and Connor both like space bar this, go to the comment section and nobody <laughs> yeah, was talking no one, about yeah, it. Yeah, no one was, nobody I, I, was really? talking about it. I was it. so furious. It's like, why is nobody talking about this? <laughs> This is this is the biggest issue in 2020. Why is no probably because they're all off on like r slash Jojo being like, did you see this? Did you see this bullshit? I I I, I I've I've, ne- I've never had a reaction like that in my life. I've normally been like, yeah, King, whatever you want, yeah. man. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You. and I was like, no, no, that is wrong. That's just wrong. What is That's that? just wrong. Because it's literally the first time I've heard this opinion. I've never heard that. I, I I thought I was prepared for anything. So yeah, Charlie, come on and defend yourself. <laughs> I, we need to. We need to talk. Yeah, we, we, need we to do talk. need to talk. Come to come to Japan. When come Ameri- to Japan when America stops uh, imploding. Yeah, uh, yeah. Come, uh, come to Japan. Not not only because we want you on, as a guest on the show, yeah. but mostly because we want to hear 
your uh, your opinions on JoJo. Your garbage, uh, garbage we, opinions on JoJo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on from JoJo, which is probably the worst fandom right now. We all agree, yeah. right? JoJo's the worst fandom right mm. now. Yeah. Dragon I mean, Ball's a close second. When, when, yeah. Whenever, like, whenever, like, whenever a JoJo anime is airing, it's just like the anime community is just like a minefield. Oh yeah, it's oh, great. Yeah. I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> As a guy who can navigate the minefield yeah. comfortably. It's As great. someone who is going into yeah. the field, planting new mines. <laughs> yeah, putting, <laughs> playing the mind myself. <laughs> I, I think uh, another kind of fandom that we haven't touched on, we've only touched on shonen fandoms. Yeah. Is, uh, yeah. Arguably the horniest fandom, which is the, the Yaoi fandom. They're See, pretty, I don't really don't know much. see it. Really? Yeah, all I that do. much. Well, I, I mean, mean I know you, you, do. you would be more of the expert than I am. Yeah. Yeah. Like what, what the is Yaoi it? fandom is imagine if instead of being passionate about Dragon Ball, you're passionate about dudes fucking. Like that's <laughs> that level of passion. I mean, <laughs> good on them, I guess. Like <laughs> I, I read a manga recently and it's uh it was one where the whole kink was that uh he had inverted nipples and that was the selling point. I saw that on yeah, Twitter. I tried to, it was like, and it's just crazy because people get so into this stuff. And I love reading it because it's so funny and absurd, but right. some yeah. people love this shit. Yeah, yeah. And they get so aggressive about it. But then it's equally on the other side. There's like, don't fetishize this shit. It's not healthy. And it's always like a war going what, on. What, about inverted nipples? Uh, about like gay relationships oh, and stuff oh, like this. Cause okay. it's like women, right? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But I mean, <laughs> I don't fucking care. I think it's stupid either yeah, way. Exactly. Who takes this shit seriously? No one cares. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the fucking inverted nipple shit killed oh, me. This, this because tundra. like I could, it, it killed me because I knew it wasn't a parody. Oh, no, 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 I was totally... like this, I know this is real. The whole plot of that Yaoi as well was a really fun, stupid one as well. I'll explain yeah. it to you. So uh, it's great. Cause even conceptually explaining it to you is so absurd. <laughs> Maylene knows it, yeah. Maylene's read it. So <laughs> she has. So this guy needs to, to get a new house, right? And he finds right. this amazing share house that it looks amazing. It's so cheap. Right. Yeah. And the reason why he gets it for so cheap is that the uh, the owner of the house only lets like hunks in, right. like absolute <laughs> okay. eye candy as he prefaces right. it. <laughs> and the, this, this Yowie starts off, right? By one of the old other hunks who lives in the house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, come on, let's take a bath together. Okay. Cause they have like an onsen or something. Yeah, right, 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 right. And he sees his inverted nipples and he's like, dude, that's hot as shit. <laughs> <laughs> like that's my kink. And he's like, you know, if you get you turned on enough, they'll, they'll invert back to normal. And so what? he immediately starts doing shit to him. Yeah. And then it turns out that he'd hired a prostitute and that wasn't the prostitute. It was just the new housemate or something. And I was like, this is insane. The plots that they come up with in Yowie are just oh insane. God. And okay, I get it. A lot of people are like, oh God, sounds gay. I'm not into that. It's like, no, please read it. It's so fucking funny. Oh no, I would just, read it. I just the stories it. alone are so absurd. At, like the, the leaps that they take. That's why, get, that's why yeah. I want to get more into Yowie because like out of the few that I've yeah. read, I'm just like, this is too funny. If you, want, if you genuinely want to read like a decent Yaoi with like a great story, I think 10 Dance is pretty good. It's right. about Ten. ballroom dancing. Yeah, I've heard that one. Hella gay, yeah. but so fucking good. Yeah, like Actually right. like an amazing story, like unironically. Like, I love how we went from Dragon Ball fan base to here are some Yaoi because, I recommend. Because <laughs> I genuinely think that Yaoi fans, cause you don't really see them. Cause you guys probably don't like, no, right. yeah, yeah. they are like the Dragon Ball fans, but like for gay porn. <laughs> Kinda, kinda. Like, do they have like power levels on dick size and everything like that? <laughs> Sadly not. And, and, and they don't care who can suck dick the best. Yeah. They, 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 they're not like, yo, Saitama can out suck Goku any day of the week. Bro, Goku can handle at least a 10 inch girth any day of the week. Goku has a 10 inch girth. You know, Goku can still suck dick even with HIV. <laughs> no, it's, it's like, like oh it's God. just like this kind of almost like you, you'll you'll say, oh, I like a yaoi. Yeah. And if you say you like a yaoi, you better be prepared for me like, read this one. Oh my God, you have to read this one. Dude, this one's great. Do you know how many fucking yaois I got recommended after you and I did that yaoi ASMR video? Yeah, because every yaoi fans will not be content until you've read their favorite yaoi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, there, there's, there's, there's like a be. lot of fandoms like that as well. True, true, true. Like the fate fandom, I yeah. think is definitely one of that where like they hear that you're into like one fate and then they'll, okay, okay. I am that How fate dare fan. you I, haven't I, seen I, every I, time I am that fate fan. <laughs> well, fate fans are the, the if, if if Dragon Ball's the ghetto, fate are the crack dealers. Like, <laughs> that's the way I see it. They're like, they're the ones who are profiting. Yeah, it's like, so you instability. want more, huh? <laughs> oh, I got more. Oh, we, we got more. What, what do you want? Yeah. Like their you gateway, want the waifus? They, you yeah, want the story? <laughs> they, 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 <laughs> their gateway drug is heroin. And then it only gets worse from that. Like it's, 
Like you know, we need a we need a full like ecosystem to to denote who is the the failure in it's like, society. It's like, oh, you finished all the fate, huh? Have you heard of Tsukihime? <laughs> <laughs> I know you want to get into that. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, you like saber? Say like it's like the different kinds of marijuana yeah. strands. <laughs> saber. It's like oh, you like si saber of the the dank. Dude. We finally <laughs> have every, we have we have every kind of saber now because Castle Saber just got recently released in the JP servers, and now we can we can go full saber. All the sabers. Give me more sabers. We don't need any more sabers. <laughs> Type Moon. It's stop free it. real estate. Stop it. <laughs> Type Moon. <laughs> Thank but God. no, like another toxic fandom I can think of that I so just, just, just like discovered. checking off. Who are we gonna piss off? Like, next? like, like, yeah, let's just piss off everyone. We're gonna now. piss off everybody. Who, who haven't we pissed off? Do we yet? have any more people? Webtoon we readers. <laughs> Webtoon readers. Okay, so because like, I, do we even count them? <laughs> <laughs> Is that even a fan base? I don't even know. <laughs> no, because like, I didn't realize how passionate they were mm. until Tower of God started airing. Right. And then I remember making a Tower of God video. Mm. And like when I tweeted it out or anytime I would tweet anything out yeah. about Tower of God, it was the most toxic like Twitter chain you could ever think of. Really? Where, yeah, where people like Tower of God fans are that dedicated fandom. Right. And from what I've seen, a lot of the Webtoon fan base are the same. Cause I've seen, I've seen like equally with like the God of High School fandom as well. Right, 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 right. Where they will defend this show as like the greatest piece of literature that's <laughs> ever been made. <laughs> right. And I'm oh like, yeah, I like Tower of God. Yeah, you know, yeah, God yeah. of High School, I haven't read the, I haven't read the Webtoon. So that could be better. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I think the anime is pretty mediocre as it is. Yeah. But like they, they will like go to war to like oh make sure God. everyone knows how good this webtoon is. I'm really scared now because I'm pretty sure next season we're getting the novel S anime, right? <laughs> Which basically th completes the trifecta of like the the webtoon. Yeah. Right, triangle, cause, cause, right? Cause you know, when you have like a slight problem mm. with like, or like a slight criticism with like this, this certain anime or show or manga, <laughs> yeah. and then you make like a tweet about it. Yeah. And then the billion fucking tweets you get to be like, um, excuse me, yeah. no, this How criticism is wrong. Oh my God. And that's, that's like what I've seen with like webtoons fans, like times a hundred. Really? Yeah. Or, or at least like, or at least with Tower of God, cause like yeah, that, yeah, that was yeah. my experience with Tower of God where I was like, I like Tower of God. Yeah. But then I've read like the comments chains and a lot of it just really put me off like the Tower of God fandom. Mm, you know I, I, mean? I never got that at all. I, in my head, I was just like, damn, this has got a fucking good soundtrack. <laughs> that's, that's all I had. I was like, Kevin, oh, it's, oh, it's Kevin. Kevin, hey. you did good. You did, you did good, good, Kevin. Again. You did good, Kevin. Fuck, Bring, the, fuck give, the oxygen fandom. You yeah. know, fuck those guys. <laughs> <laughs> who needs oxygen, man? They're real <laughs> stuck up. I just, I, who, who haven't we pissed off yet then? Wait, is there a good fandom? No. No. Because <laughs> the more I go through it, I'm like, love life, garbage, bang dream, garbage. <laughs> Every single fairy fandom. Tale. Fairy tale. Oh my God, fairy tale is awful. Yeah. Oh my God. Fairy, fairy tale, it, it, uh, man, it's like, the people who like fairy tale are the ones who kept those mats. You know, the kids with the town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah They're yeah. the people who kept those and still <laughs> use them. And then have the little cars go around. <laughs> I remember. I remember one time. I remember one time there was this fucking like. It, it, I think it was supposed to be a smear campaign against me, right? But oh, because you said the fairy tale was garbage. Yeah, because I said that fairy tale was garbage in one of my Let's Fight videos, and there was a moment on Instagram where people were like tweeting out or uh, like posting this like picture of like Natsu and Lucy. Yeah. And it was like, protect fairy tale from the anime man. And it was, there was like 30 people on Instagram being like, yes, let's protect our favorite show because some dude on the internet said it was a garbage show. And I'm just like, oh my God. All I said was that this show sucks. Like, <laughs> it's like, just chill, like chill out. Is it a natural occurrence that at a certain age, you just stop giving a fuck if someone hates on what you like? Or is it a, is it a thing that, some people have it. It's just- Cause I don't, I, I genuinely don't know anyone our age who gets that angry about it. Do you? Um, Cause I don't. No. I don't. I mean like, I like to have like arguments. Yeah, no, I love, not arguments or like I debates. I love chatting shit. I love yeah. talking out of my ass and getting yeah. angry at Jerry about the back of no doubt. But yeah. like, that's not like actually- Like I'm not gonna be fuck. offended by it. No, right? no, like, no, no. I mean, that's yeah. cause we're friends, right? But yeah, I'm yeah. not gonna on Twitter get actually angry at someone cause I mean, a lot of the context and the humor is lost if I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Um, I mean, I feel like on Twitter, especially, which I oh feel like God. we're pulling most of this 
uh, like most of our yeah, opinions. Yeah, this, this is normally <laughs> coming from Twitter. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd say ninety percent of what I see has come from Twitter. It yeah. is just not like not the right platform for this kind of like debate no. and mm. argument. Like, like, like I said, who's ever changed their opinion because of a fucking tweet? You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't have enough characters to make a poignant argument no. um, that can that can really- I, I And mean, I'm not gonna even, sit through a fucking like then, seven tweet thread, right? Like, then, I don't the, know, fir the first thing you think when you get like, uh, uh, like what a fucking 20 page paragraph, yeah. your, your yeah. immediate thought is not to like, I'm gonna consider what they've said. So you're like, how do I immediately counter this? Is yeah, your yeah, first yeah. thought on Twitter. Yeah, it yeah, always yeah, is, yeah. it's everyone's first yeah, thought, right? Yeah, of course. So it's like, what's the fucking point? Like, yeah. you, you just, you, you know, go and, go and fucking watch Melio, Melio just touch up a girl. Who fucking cares? Yeah. Go do what you want. Yeah. <laughs> if you enjoy it, then cool. But just be aware that there are people out there who don't think that way, right? Yeah. Who don't agree with the fact that- It's not a personality trait to touch women. <laughs> just saying, I'm gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it. I, I just think it's stupid. Yeah, it is. Why does, why does, why does Melio just need to do it? I don't know. I still wonder. I, yeah. I wake up in a cold sweat at night, and I'm like, "Why do you wake up like Meliodas did in that fucking?" Yeah, thing? I mean, I I, th I think it's why just Meliodas <laughs> assaulting women. <laughs> no, I'm not a simp, right? Yeah. <laughs> I just think it's because of like when, uh, when 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 did it originally come out? Like it was like mid 2000s, right? Or was it okay in mid 2000s? No, because <laughs> remember that. Remember this time in mid 2000s where entire character quirks was. Ooh, let's trip over and touch an anime girl. Like L literally most, like, every harem protagonist. Yeah, literally every harem protagonist. Yeah. That was I, like the quirk. Th there's a difference between tripping up there and being like, yeah. <laughs> true, true, true. And like, I, I'm, I, as, a, as an adult male, an adult monkey brained male, yeah. I watched that and I sat there and I thought, who is this appealing to, this character trait? Like, I'm wondering who, yeah. because do you know? Because I don't fucking know. It's gotta be 12 year olds, right? It, it's gotta be 12 That's how like most of my arguments are done. Like who yeah. likes this 12 year old? Must be, yeah. probably isn't. Mm. But to my head, no adult who's functioning in society. <laughs> Maybe I just answer <laughs> my own question. Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> it's not appealing to if those who are, are functioning over the age society. of 18. Do you like that Meliodas touches people? If so, can you tell me why? Because I'm genuinely curious. Like what about it is fun? Like, yeah, maybe, like, maybe like I, I can understand if you don't have a problem with it, but like, if you actively like, yes. Enjoy it, like that's yeah. a good quality. Like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what I'm, I mean. I'm genuinely they're curious. Like, they're like, like, hell yeah, Meliodas, you feel up that Because like I said, I don't give a shit. It's just kind of like smelling a bad fart. Like I'm like, fuck it, ugh, yeah. disgusting, yeah. carry on. But like, yeah. I don't care. Like it's yeah, not gonna yeah, stop yeah. me from watching it. I just think it's dumb. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, it's like, the bad animation is more likely to stop you from watching yeah, that, it. That's yeah, that's way worse. Yeah. Right? That's way like, worse. And yeah, that's that's a way worse. Of, that's a way better reason to stop watch fucking watching it. God, they, what did they do to you? I'm sorry, Seven Deadly Sins fans. They did you dirty. I've, I've, I think what this episode has given me the realization of is that if you put the blank fandom and you put any anime in that blank, it's probably going to be a shit fan. Oh yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, as long as a fandom exists, it's probably going to suck in some way. Yeah, think yeah. of any fandom, and you'll you'll find yeah. annoying yeah. ass fucking memes or dumb shit they say. Yeah. So if you are a fan of any anime in general, don't take what we said personally. We just like to talk shit yeah. out of our ass. We hate all fandoms. Equally. None of this is serious. <laughs> if you are a Dragon Ball fan, please don't think that you can't talk to me. Uh, you can't uh, actually. Yeah. <laughs> you can, as long as it's not about Dragon Ball. Yeah. <laughs> only, only if you're here to discuss the benefits of having Goku be HIV positive. <laughs> if, <laughs> Jojo <laughs> fans, please just chill the fuck out. Yeah, Not, not everyone needs to watch Jojo. Yeah. We love Jojo. Not everyone what, will love what Jojo. What we said is is not serious yeah. at all. It's just us talking shit for two hours, just yeah. having a fun time. Exactly. And exactly. If, uh, hopefully you, none of you took what we said seriously yeah. today. Although, if you are offended by this, odds are you didn't make it this far before Actually, you let's, let's, let's make this fun. What are the fandoms piss you off? <laughs> let's make Leave it, it in the comments. Let's yeah. make the comment section if, an entire fucking minefield. If, it, if it's for us, if it's Dragon Ball, what is it for you? What fandom <laughs> yeah, is it? Yeah, Tell yeah. me, let us know. Let us Come know, on. this is gonna go well. <laughs> Hey, but in the meantime, check out all these patrons that are helping us to support the show and making is us- the, Is it the trash taste fandom? The if trash so, taste fandom. Perhaps trash the taste taste more like trash takes, am I right? Absolute <laughs> toxicity right here on the screen right now. These toxic like people supporting the show. Yeah. Ew. If you'd like to have your name appear on screen, go and do yeah. so by clicking the link down below to go to our Patreon. And yes. uh, yeah. thank you so much for those people who throw their money at us and help produce <laughs> the show. And hope help produce this fucking toxicity that we've just produced today. Absolutely disgusting oh toxicity. And if the comment section of this video aren't enough, then you can also I follow us. I can't wait for the amount of clips that get like clipped and put on Twitter. <laughs> oh God. Like we, we we are going to like- The we, amount of smear campaigns that are gonna happen on trash days. Be like, how fucking Connor. dare they? It's disgusting. We're gonna get canceled from every fucking side of the anime fans. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> if you piss off everyone, it's a it's a <laughs> negative <laughs> negative situation, right? Where exactly. Everyone's like, well, he pissed everyone off, so it must be okay. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. But if the comment section aren't enough for you guys, then you can also let your opinions be shined over on our Twitter and subreddit as well. Post post your horrible toxic fan base memes over there. And uh, yeah, guys, yeah. please don't get offended with anything we said. There's none of this is serious. We just, as you can see, we're drinking. All right, so immediately it negates all fucking credibility of what we're saying. Yes. I, just, I, just noticed, <laughs> I just noticed we've been fucking moving around so much more when like the more we've drunk. <laughs> we're all just like, eee! <laughs> fucking hell. Fuck anime, I hate anime. Yes. Why do you watch anime? It's fucking Disgusting. shit. Anime <laughs> is mid. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't hit different. It was a lie. God lied. <laughs> Goodbye, Trash Taste viewers. Yeah, if we're not uh, canceled by the next episode, then we'll see you next week. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.